Alright, we are back with some more Genjin, and today we'll be doing our Shep pre-farming as usual. We gotta finish that off. I think we should be able to get all the materials today, I think. I think we're like very, very close to getting everything we need to get Shep to 90. And we gotta do finish off the event. I'm assuming everything's available today. Everything thing should be available, hopefully. We'll finish off the event, and then I'm gonna do Lynette, Lynette's uh, hangout. We gotta do that today, too. I'm actually in the mood to do it. I'm gonna try and finish it. How you doing, Vaughn? What's good, my boy? And that hangout is gonna take a while. It's definitely gonna take a while today. It's gonna take some time, man. Everything's available? Alright, good. Why is this a Geo Goblet, man? It, of course, it'd be me to get a good Geo Goblet on the Wanderer set. Like, 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 bro, why, man? Why, bro? That was a cryo goblet. That would have been like perfect. You start the stream off strong. Like, like if only that was a cryo goblet, man. Rough day, but you're good. Hopefully, day's getting better, man. I mean, it's good Friday, bro. Day off, so we're chilling. How you doing, Don? What's good, my boy? You can't go wrong with good Friday, man. I'm gonna do a few runs. I'm gonna go back to the boss. Doing good. What's up, Adonis? What's up, bro? Let's swap out to Kazwa. Actually, this is okay. Got good as the tickets for TXT. Who's TXT? TXT. Hey. Who tells TXT? The song Sugar or Shida? I have no idea what that song is. No idea what that is. Okay, we finally have a release date for the wave, which is good. This game was taking way too long to drop. We got another month and a half until that game drops. I guess I should say a month and three weeks. Until Wuthering and drops. And I'm gonna be posting content on that. Honestly, I'm still looking way more forward to Azure Permilla, I'm not gonna lie. Like that that game looks lit, man. That game actually looks so freaking good. Like I'm still gonna like post Wuther Rape's content, but like I'm way more Way more excited for, for Azure. Like, it looks so good, man. Like, it actually looks so good. It's kind of frozen. When is Azure Promelia dropping? That's the real question. When is that game dropping, man? Dude, that game's gonna be lit. Yeah, the waifu game. That, game. that game's gonna be lit, man. It's gonna be so freaking good. The other shot miss. I did miss. Yeah, I'm mean, still probably not, not not this year at, at this point. I mean, never know, but like, I don't know, man. Look, like it's not gonna drop this year, low key. It might not. I mean, hopefully it does, but it probably won't. I'm doing good here. Terry, you doing? I just wish that goblet was cryo, man. That geo goblet. That actually sucks. That actually sucks, man. It's double crit. I think both worlds are high rolls too, man. Like, why could it not have been cryo? Why, bro? I'm about to just roll it. I hope it rolls bad. I'm about to just full send it. Watch roll 50 CV on this Geo Goblet. I'm gonna cry. This Goblet. 
Actually, the crit's not the high roll. I mean, it's close enough. If this goblet rolls all crit and I get 50 CV, I swear to God. Okay, that's fine. I don't give a damn what this rolls, to be honest. I'm just curious. I need to get rid of Artifact, too, because I have way too many Artifacts. Yeah, we're, we're stopping. We're definitely stopping there. Bro, our bag is like permanently full, which is like really annoying. We need more bank space in this game. I desperately need more bank space. It's just not enough. It is not enough, man. Our spot should be back. Doing the run, do the event. We'll come back to another run after the event. We should be Gucci. I gotta finish this Lynette hangout ASAP. Gotta finish that ASAP, ASAP. Then we should be good. I do feel like 80% of the hangouts are ass. I feel like all ass, to be honest. I feel like all pretty bad. First of studying me. Oh, that mess. Please give me a three drop. Three drop. Okay, nice. Wait, how many do I have? We're 33. We need a 13. Alright, let me go do the event. We need 13 more, so we're basically done. Finish off this event real quick. Boom. This event is ass, too. This event's like actually horrendous. Like, actually horrendous, man. I need to stop with these picture events. Like, let's stop, whatever. Stop with the picture events, man. Here, hang on for coffee in the well. Yeah, the well part two was the best one. That, that was like the all time best hangout. Like, it just could not be rivaled. It's just too good. And the well part one was good, but the well part two, bro. I think it was golden. Navi and Albedo, interesting. Why did they put Shioria in here? Where the hell is Shiori, bro? Navi and Albedo, bro. We're gonna leave next to her in that one part? I know exactly what you're talking about. Skill Herb Burst. That messed it up. Where we're not pulling out. I think it's taking forever to fill up, bro. Come on. Wait, Navi, I mean, Navi's pretty fun, I ain't gonna lie. I think I was hyped together, but I, I don't think I will, to be honest. So what new Valette, man? I ain't even new Valette, bro. Well, still trying to pop school. There we go. All right, now we can literally leave and we're Gucci. On to the next stage. Boom. All right, so last one and we're good. Shiori Ito. Bro, what even is this? Why is there only two characters in this event? <laughs> like, like, bro. This event is just goofy, man. This goofy ass event. Oh, 
We good? Here we go. Yeah, I heard about the weather and stopping on console. That's unfortunate for y'all boys. Unfortunate for y'all boys, man. I don't know why it would not be on console though. This doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. We good? The only, the only solid thing about this event is that you can like, just leave after you, you like do the re requirements. That's like the only good thing. Other than that, that's just ass. It's complete ass. How are you doing, Slito? But yeah, that, that's unfortunate for y'all boys. Ain't gonna lie. That's unfortunate to y'all boys. GG, go next. <laughs> that's all I can say, man. GG. Go next. Sorry for y'all, boys, man. Time to pull out the mobile device. Or just get the PC easy. And then go back to can as well. Maybe swap Venti back off. My cans want. But yeah, that, that, that is a rip to y'all, boys, man. That is an RIP. An RIP, man. You're not dead. Die. Please give me a good goblet. Unfortunate. I gotta hear this guy yap for like a couple of more. It's actually crazy. Alright, let's give me my Mora, buddy. Let's give me my Mora. My four adventure experience so I can leave. Okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be, to be honest. Alright, let me finish this hangout ASAP. I actually finished this hangout, man. I already know this hangout's gonna be trash. I already know this hangout's gonna be complete dog doo doo. How many endings are in this one? Five? I'm gonna swap comps. I'm not running around on this comp. Definitely not running around on this comp. Let's get off the steam. Most gacha games are Chinese and don't bother spending additional money for the game on consoles. Yeah, they're trying to, they're trying to, bro. This is be going to the most cheap route ever, bro. Because they're, they're, bro, I don't know why they would not like release it on console. I know there are some issues. Uh, Especially with PlayStation. I'm not sure it's like PlayStation because Microsoft is like uh, another thing as well. It'd be wild in two on Mi Microsoft wise with Xbox. Yeah. The whole like exclusive, exclusive ex exclusivity yeah. of like console, now wanting out, like on, on, on their console only and all that BS. Jump there. I thought they'd finally I'm getting all the rights. Well, You'd be doing too much sometimes, Angola. Jumped up a little. You'd be doing way too much. Objectively speaking, the trouble was entirely of my own making. Half an hour ago, I was at Hotel de Bois. Right, for, for PS4 players. But most games, most new games have become on PS5 nowadays. Of a show. But it was strange. You feel really bad for PS4 players. So, I waited for the right moment, then snuck away so I could switch to standby mode. Um. Probably PS4 2, they could for the PS4 build, they're in the Unreal Engine stream. Is that so surprising? Oh, that's on them, man. I'm only 
always getting invitations to do solo performances. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. M M I Xbox is zero. Watch it in Microsoft, bro. Microsoft, man. Then came the Fontanalia Film Festival. We took all the kids from the House of the Hearth out to see a film. And after it finished, they all started clamoring for me to try out acting for some reason. Even Lenny was chanting along with them. Anyway, Ariel, I'm doing good. Are you, Mina? So that a director called Mary who had sent me an invitation right around then. So it's soon they're gonna start facing up PS4. I mean, they're already accepted. essentially slowly doing it. So. Yep, you nailed it. I'm playing the role of a puppet. In fact, eventually you're going to have to upgrade to PS5. And it's a masked. You're gonna have to upgrade, bro. So I don't have to do any facial expressions so. or say any lines. Literally just a series of physical movements. The only gotcha games with the PS5, only your sister and CZ, which are still city. We ain't losing much. Yeah, well, watch watch them at least as a probably on PS5 only, bro. Felt in the heart. At least that's what the director says. I honestly anyway, would not be surprised. Else, the opening performance seemed to go down well. At the drinks reception, everyone was crowding around. Yeah, they, they, they gotta face the, P, the PS4 round. They want man's upgrade. Betrayal. Faithful adaptation of the original. It was obviously profitable work. for them. Unequivocally, quintessential. You do not want man sitting on the PS4 for too long. And Soon you're gonna so have to upgrade. But being the center of attention is draining. So the moment they left me to go harass the director instead, I was out of there. How long the is this thing? That was a real question. I'm supposed to at least two hours plus. At least. I was on the stage. That has to be at least two hours oh. plus. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. My bad. Yeah, because man man's are sitting on the PS4. They're sitting on it. We bumped into each other right after I slipped away. They're sitting on it. Be kind of is the PS5 still like hella, hella kind of overpriced? Besides, How much is the PS5 right now? I'm assuming it's still uh, hella overpriced. Haven't you, Bonnie? Man man's are sitting on that PS4. Yeah, that's right. Good kitty. As soon as they start releasing games only in PS5, man man's going to have to upgrade. Nope. <laughs> they're, they're gonna have to upgrade, bro. And for the most part, she's pretty well yeah, PS5 is not cheap. If she is a stray, the man's revenge are sitting on the PS4. They're Her sitting on it. Growling a lot. 50 k Yeah, exactly, bro. There's probably, what, 600 USD, give or take? 625 USD? It's like around that range. It's still pretty expensive. Probably that point's gonna PC you. Like, bro. Gonna PC at that point. Like, me personally. I should probably it's show save a little more money. It's got a PC at that point. It's infinitely better. Even if it's just to make excuses and leave again. Mm, decision time. This could just for them trash on the PS5. Oh, what excuses did they even have? I just find it exhausting. Anything good? Thinking through all the different ramifications. Good ours in the fourth time. The original target. So Brand new or like we furbished used. Than mine. So it's fine. You got from an to make. There's no shot you got it. Got it new. Four hundred USD. I'm gonna use the ish. A fatality. Brand new. It looks pretty over the top, I know. But it's essentially what, just during like Christmas? Black Friday? The design simple, so it'd be harder to break. The they had to have been discounted. I pick a card at random, then look at the card. I think it's called the minor fan of Fast Spider Man. Well, for example, if the number on the card. There's no way that wasn't discounted. Higher, I help last year in March. If it's less no than shot. five. I go back to the reception. Well, I got up to four years. I just have to believe in the bond between the, me Wait, when did the PS5 get released? And my fate wait, I'm, I'm, will reveal hold on. itself to me in numerical form. PS5 released it. When did it come out? That's what Lenny said. Anyway, I guess I'll give you a demonstration. November 12, 2020. It's been like three years and a half. It was announced in 2019, though, but released in 2020. Huh. I didn't like that. Let's see. Was I using it wrong? Hmm. Maybe. It should have been that long. I, I, just... I don't think it's been that long since the PS5 been out. There was like, maybe like two years and a half or something. Clearly, there's it's actually been out for a while, actually. Out. I'll have to let Fremine know. Demon Souls also a PS5 exclusive. Let's Demon see. Souls also like the most Which uninteresting installment in the Soul series. Four. Demon Souls. I'm gonna assume that's like well, a feudal era the type beat. Fell on the ground though, so I don't think it counts as fate. Sounds like a if samurai you want to game. Get the right answer, you have to let fate decide. Also, like around Bloodborne Solo. Said. So to put it another way, if picking a card up off the ground and is how sounds like a feudal era type beat. Fate, Demon then Souls. That means it must be the wrong answer. Um, or. Why don't you pick a card? You know, the separate games, like, the lore has to be Since good I and the gameplay has to be good, like, combat-wise. 
Uh, Otherwise, the game is like, are, bro. Like, like the combat has to be good, and the lore has to be good in the game. With each other. Thank you. But you can't final, sell on the lore and combat. You just Here, can't. Take the, the phaseometer. If it's five this or above, lore and combat that means fate successfully changed. Anything lower than five is a fail. Also, if your other PS5 exclusives are triple, your own triple A game, it's all I can think do, of. Feel free to share it. Now that I've got a good problem solver here to help, I don't need to run every. Bro, you got a PC? Hey, bro, you don't even need a crazy ass PC because people be thinking like you need to drop like four grand. On, you don't have to drop four K on a PC, bro. You get a decent one that will run like literally ninety five percent of the games. At like one point five to USD, I promise you. With a, with a Besides, decent build. The drinks reception is. You don't, you don't need a crazy as PC. An official publicity event. Dude, you think you need like four so or five k? You don't need a freaking NASA computer, bro. I might get sued for breach of contract, and that would be a yeah, huge decent pain PC. One point five k USD, and you're, you're, you're chilling. Do you want to come? I need to be just slowly upgrade it. You're free. I mean. Mhm. Mm Thanks. Yeah, it's, yeah, what's it actually? Depends on what you're running too, right? Like what games you're playing. <laughs> So when people ask like, oh yeah, what, what PC build should I use? It, it all comes down to like your scenario, right? What games are you going to be playing and your budget? Budget ultimately being like over, over like what you're playing because you don't have the money for it. You don't have the money for it, right? So <laughs> like, it comes down to your budget. What games you're playing? And there you go from you are, there. Lynette? Where did you disappear to? Leone and I have been looking everywhere for you. Wait, where did you get the cat? Forgot about that game. I found her outside. Got a war Ragnarok. Do either of you happen to recognize her? Um, I don't think. Remember the God of War game since the God of War like I don't even like two or something else. I the last God of War game I played was on the PS3. So sorry we couldn't help you, Lynette. I don't remember like what God of War was. I'm not gonna lie. Well, ask around for you. Leone's probably just been forgetful. I was back on like it was like PS3. Maybe you could leave her with us. We'll take her to the reception. I had like the old PS3, like the when it first came, like the PS3, like, the and fat one. If not, I didn't even have, I didn't even have the slim one. It was like the fat sure. PS3, the I black help, one. But I'm a little preoccupied. That's weathering waves, actually. Sorry I mean, you can look it up. You. Just use, no can you run it? You type in, type in the game, type in the PC specs, also, and then you'll see if X PC can run X game. I mean, could we maybe get on minimum statistic required specs for that game. Leone, you can't spring that on her Better now. Better than that. That's probably Not the one I played then. Working. At least wait until the event's finished. Is that the one with the boy? Thing, it's the one with the boy, bro. For you. If I remember correctly. We'll the cat to the front desk now. See you There's later. like a boy and he's like, he's like, Kratos is like training somebody. Is that the one on PS3? Uh, is it the right one? I might tweak it. So I don't even have an event. I might be tweaking. I don't really remember God of War right. like that, to be honest. Guess I'd better go see the director. It's been ages since I played the game. So, uh, it, was the, it was the one with the, the boy, bro. He had like a son or something. A masterpiece of mise-en-scene. And the performance, oh my, groundbreaking. Dripping with the... Bro, who is this? My congratulations on another magnificent Je ne quoi, what does he even mean? Where's the yes, English subtitles? Yes. Man, is speaking random French like a freaking no, no French art, bro. Out of War 2018? Is that on PS3? That's on PS3, right? Society. I think. Particularly as they relate to changing modes of emotional expression and the challenge of mutual intelligibility. Such bro, I'm addicted to the boys, man. So the boys, that show is so time. good. A tour de force of it's so good, game. man. I need to finish season two. I can already see the headlines of tomorrow's. I need to finish it, bro. They will certainly be singing your praise, Director Mary. You. How much RTX 570? <laughs> you, you gotta, you gotta look it up, man. I, I, I don't know freaking graphics or price. I mean, let's look at high end one. I, I don't know how much that is off the top of my head. Entire cast had to go above and beyond. No idea how much that is off the top of my head. Everyone outdid themselves. Uh, speaking of the cast. Jillian, another strong performance from you in Director Mary Yu's latest show, as of course we've all come to expect. Even, I mean, I mean it depends on what, what CPU you're going to be running as well. That's with that. quite an like, What are you going to be running with it? I've only ever played supporting roles. On that point, uh, you, 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 you can't carry by itself. In interview that you were looking to secure a leading role in your next show. What led you to the you, decision you to stay in a supporting well. role this time around? Um. 
And they both went hand in hand. We had a discussion about this, and while Lynette hadn't previously performed in an acting role, we were blown away by uh, her talent. What the? And she was a perfect fit for this character. Quite simply, Wait, are, are you on the? Can you run inside? Because you can play. literally just type in the specs on there. Exactly. I was honored to share the stage with her. And it has like an auto fill function, so like you just type it in and you'll see the spec pop up. Talented actress. You just click on it. And it'll, it'll literally tell you if, if, if your like, PC can run that game. Oh, Lynette's back! Hey, Lynette, where have you been? Are you in standby uh, that's mode? Like actually Some golden. reports say you switched that state to recharge after a show. It'll tell you exactly if a piece can run it or not. Method acting, of course. Such a compelling portrayal of a mechanical puppet could only be achieved by an actor who lives and breathes their role even more. Bro, who even is this man? Random critic? Who is Those this bro? seemingly stilted movements were in fact an inspired portrayal of the character. The ostensibly bad acting, in reality, was the problem. The question is, where's the skip button in this? Skill. I guess you gotta go through, go through uh, it once, the skip. I went up Wait, where's the new skip feature? Cat there, so I played with the cat for a bit. A cat? <laughs> We've long this heard that you were a kind soul, as well as an incredible actress. No wonder your debut performance First time I got the PC run, and I'm going back to PlayStation, this man. This show looks on track Wait, where the, where the hell's the skip button though, boys? Where's the skip theater? button at? Lynette, any words for the fans? Um, not really, no. Uh, I believe Lynette is trying to say that the actor... You're saying that you gotta go back in the hangout to, to like, redo the other endings, but like... Connecting with their fans. They should at least put the skip button from the very oh, beginning. Oh, I see. Bro. Lynette, any comments? <sighs> it's like a half-ass mm -hmm. skip button. Right, exactly. But don't you want the fans? I guess an to know actual half ass right skip button. After the hugely successful opening of your first ever show? That's true. I'm sure that's only in the hangouts, to right? More about you that's too. the second thing. Why would it only be in the hangouts? Interesting. Bruh. Bruh. I'm just trigger it. What even is this? Press it to draw a card, get a random number between 1 and 20. Number just always greater than or equal to the check difficulty. You'll pass this check. There's RNG in this hangout? Isn't there enough RNG in the game? Bro. So what do I need to do? Just get a higher number than 15? What even is this, bro? Your current check bonus is added to your randomly drawn number, making it easier to pass checks. Is it a 14? Or is it 16? What number is this? That's crazy, bro. This RNG in this event, that, bro, ain't no way, man. Lynette, this RNG in this hangout is actually crazy. With performing in a magic show. Yeah, like, like, bro, what, what is this, man? What hold for you, Lynette? Uh, I ain't even trying to, I'm, bro. I'm not trying to be out here pulling cards and doing uh, RNG right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just <sighs> like, what even is this, bro? Turns out I can't cope with this stuff even in tea party. I don't know how these developers <laughs> find a way to make things worse, progressively worse. Mode for participating As in time moves on, things just get parties. worse and worse. And it's like how? Normally, I can get through an entire conversation. Like, what's next, just man? With, mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. And like how are these how events getting worse and worse? But at a tea party, I'm not normally subjected well, to a constant stream of questions. But something there's two endings. You gotta like actually be the get another ending. That's what I'm uh, The energy consumption of that interview just now was three times as much as the average tea party. I'm hoping that it's not the case because I'd rather I not do that crap thing again. I that I never have to do, do it with RNG in a hangout. This Lynette, is crazy to think about. Director Maryu would like you to join the group photo to commemorate the successful opening of the show. A group photo? It's just the members of the troupe, along with Maloney and Corentin. Everyone's waiting for you. <sighs> All right then. See you in a minute. Or just sounds so dead inside. What in, bro? Just, Three, just hang up, man. Two, one, smile. Just hang up. My thanks to each and every one of you here for your help in making the lost puppet a success. The group photo is already being printed as I speak. You can collect your copy from the first floor after the drinks reception concludes. May it serve as a reminder of this fabulous performance every time you see it. Yeah. Mary, you! <laughs> Get over here. Let's have another drink. There's a few things I need you to glance over for me. For who is I thought this? the group photo was the final hurdle. Well, 
At least there's no more people hounding me with questions. I love the net, but nah. I just need to find somewhere to switch to stay. I don't think you love the net that much as you said. I don't, I don't think you love her, bro. <laughs> I don't think you love her enough. Are right, we going second floor? Power of Wanderer. No. Il Flutante is as wonderfully sweet as ever. You do? So you gotta do her hangar, bro. Lynette? Oh, wait, hold on. What do you mean, manage to get an invite? <laughs> I'm an expert in the dramatic arts. Of course I was invited. Naturally, people wanted to hear my comments on the emerging art form that is the Masked Mime Show. And a very worthwhile I'm should be because we're going to see the Arlequin of stuff next match. A character with more should be juicy. Facial expressions who can Which actually should be juicy. How they feel through their movement. Your performance was beyond anything I could have imagined. I don't get to do it. It's boring. Clearly, this was a very myself. suitable role for you indeed. Bro, what even? What is all this stuff in this event, bro? Passive checks are a special type of check that needs not to be actively triggered. It'll only be triggered at specific times. We pass. What if it's more RNG in this event? How much RNG is in one hangout? Huh? Hmm? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Please go on. Oh, basically, I think I'd give it a positive review overall. Just not as gushing as the crowd downstairs. So, you thought they were pretty over the top, too? Fairness, it's normal to bring along some vocal supporters for publicity when a new show opens, but still, this was something else. Then again, I'm no specialist in avant garde theater. Uh, maybe I'm just not well acquainted with their review criteria. Or maybe it's because I came to the show with some preconceived expectations. I did happen to see the original draft of Mary's script a while back. What? original draft oh he didn't show it to you it must have been a few months ago <laughs> so you need to get some advice from an experienced performer's perspective and oh my then goodness to write a few reviews of his new play I I'm actually dead it's just a for to hang out a few sections but oh my goodness man from the final version I can't say I remember the plot Brina but... took over I don't know. The protagonist just seemed more complex, I guess. Especially in the last two scenes. Still a mechanical puppet on the outside, of course. But she seemed to have more emotional depth on the inside. Emotional depth? Man, this point is getting more screen time than the actual character of the hangout. At this point? Besides, a script and a play are two very different beasts. There are so many <laughs> like, details to consider really when turning lies. a story into a story production. It was boring with development, so they switched Probably gears. Than most people could imagine. <laughs> Especially with a novel art form like a masked mind Oh show. my goodness. I'm sure Mary you had his reasons for the changes he made. Hmm. <clears throat> Change of topic. I see you've escaped the crowd. And then, then it's just dry, board. so... It's just Fame dry. can be overwhelming at first, can't it? Uh... Perhaps she's just way too dry. From hearing about the experiences so. of a veteran celebrity such as myself. No thanks, I'm good. Pretty sure this will be my first. And for real, no one complains having secret for uh, Hey, time. at least let me finish. I have top tips on. Like no energy from my ass. Like, hi, hi. Hey, like, hey, like, bro, she's just dry, man. She's too dry, bro. Tell me everything. There's like no energy, man. <laughs> first, take a seat, mon ami. We must part Zero of energy, bro. Divorce, fine desserts as we talk, lest they go to waste. All right, get me out of here. Three of you enjoy some delectable treats hmm. as this reception comes to a close. That was very educational. Okay. I expect most of the people downstairs have left by now. Time to grab my copy of the group photo and get home. You're still dry, man. I don't sleep for like 36 hours, uh, bro. Actually, no, I, I'll be kind of dead. Actually, I'll be kind of dead. Actually, <laughs> yeah, actually, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We hold on, hold on, hold on. But I mean, to be, bro, didn't that stop? Okay, another thing too. Didn't that stop with like the sleepless act? Okay, 
Gani, Gani sold it. We, we don't need any more, bro. Stop. Stop with the up. characters. We got Layla out here. Oh, yeah, I don't sleep. You. Like, like I stop don't with the whole sleeping trope. Stop. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Because I'm tired of the whole sleeping trope, bro. Like, Gani is enough. We don't need, like, ten it's characters fine. that are just sleepless in the game. It's just... <laughs> like, where are the beds at? Where are the homes? It doesn't make any sense where While every every female beach, character in the goddamn damn game is just sleepless. Like There's not sleeping. It's like, bro. It was only for an instant. I need to stop the whole sl I, I, I don't know if I can sleep Trump. He's getting old now. But somehow, I knew it was a little bit about sleeping. This has been like this since day one. Don't ever have to switch personality. You just be like this. Like just like this. Yeah, say, bro. You stop the sleeping Trump, man. Normally, I'm used to lurking in the He's always like this. She just doesn't want the energy and stupid people. things. So, it was strange. Feeling like I was the one being spied on this time. Or just loves to overwork or females. Where'd the men at? Just took a a real question. To me What's going on in this reason? game? Sometimes you can like one person and Who is this? Like Why is there a Lynette? Oh hell nah. You and Nana, you're getting declined, anyway, buddy. It was just a moment. We do not want you in here. That's all. I'm looking at you right Nothing now as we speak. To worry about. We do not want you in here, brother. Okay, problem solved. I'm gonna take this envelope and go home now. I'm sure all my college fellows agree. You heartless puppet! You ruined this work, you filthy scumbag! Hand over the role of lead actress immediately, you piece of... God damn, they're dissing! <laughs> Wait, who is this? Wait, she's a hater? She's ops. She has ops. Step down from the leading this when did the lin What the hell? Based on the tone, she I has ops, man. Letter is right. This is far more serious than a momentary stink eye? Stink eye, bruh. And the way she said stink eye. Can't read it on this single eye. Am I reading all this, bro? I don't think we're gonna VA find at? any more clues here. Yes, let's. Whatever destroyed means, it could have something to do with the original script. Whatever destroyed that means. I think she wants to take your life. Also, whatever destroyed I'm means. I have to ask you to stick around a while longer. Okay. Ah, I can't believe how well the whole Lynette's debut acting role thing worked out. Even the office. So Lynette has ops. Interesting. <laughs> how could I ever have doubted you? If you hadn't stuck to your guns and kept sending those invitations, this opportunity would have passed us by. Okay. See, I told you. But that's the easiest job on planet Earth. She just pulls she up to the booth and talks. Past, we're all the more reason to keep inviting her because it turns into a big talking point. Yeah. Can you imagine Look if you John with Look Jillian? Up. You'd have been lucky to get half the ticket sales you've ended up with. True. Okay. Well, Jillian still needs to get a few more productions under her belt. Okay. Do you have a moment, Director Mario? Why do you why do you look like that? Uh, For a one. Ah, if it isn't the star of the show. I was agreeing with Veggie. What's going on here? You. Hmm? I'm guessing you're here to discuss the show with the director. <laughs> oh, you're a talented and hardworking actress, Lynette. It's no wonder you're getting such rave reviews. The most pressure seems to be Okay. I'll leave you artists to discuss your work in peace. Uh, Mary, you make sure you give your star performer and her friends uh, sure, full I mean, attention. For sure, this is what's I supposed to be behind the scenes. Will. It's an observer. The fortunes of our entire troupe. Bro, I'm sure doesn't do anything, bro. I'm sure this sits here. <laughs> When's the MC <laughs> like ever done anything in this game? An investor, something, I think. I've never asked him. MC's AFK. So. Uh, what can I do for the two of you? I'm afraid I'll have to dash soon as I'm meeting some friends from the newspaper. Otherwise, I'd love to stay longer. We heard that the original script for The Lost Puppet was quite different from the final show. I'm kind of curious to know what the protagonist the dialogue. was like in that version. Oh, well, this is a surprise. I didn't think you'd be interested in that sort of thing. It's not uncommon for scripts to undergo major changes as they're being brought to the stage. 
But yeah, MC, I'm bro. What is the MC doing? Like ninety nine percent of the game. The protagonist has stayed the same. Like Paimon is doing more than MC, which is just crazy to think about. Paimon, man. But a sensitive soul, a stranger in time who doesn't. We're here for a brother, bro. We're here on, on a little like tour at this point. You are the protagonist. And the protagonist is you. The success of one is the success of the other, and that's what we're here. AFK, the cup of the game. triumph. Mm. Sorry, you've lost me. Can you put it in plain words? <laughs> All right then. Delving deep in the search of core truths is the job of an artist, after all. You shouldn't give your attention to early drafts of the other game later. Well, Pat Money's doing the work. Yes, MC's not getting laid. I'll tell you that much. He's the MC. Yeah, yeah, no. The MC's not getting laid. Is the final version because it is the best version. And your performance best brings that script to life. Why, if it were hey, you, saying, I'm my own man. I doubt any with audience would give our show. I mean, yeah, pa Paimon, bro. We're regulated by Paimon. What letter? We are oh, regulated. You heard? Well, it's the same thing. Oh, he's reading the end. I was about to say, I thought, I thought something different for a second. Okay. Destroyed. What are we, freaking detective MC out here? Really? Is this Detective Conan? What's going on here? Well, Director Mario, we had Detective now, boys. His face looks so, genuine. Who on earth would write he looks such genuinely nonsense. displeased. <laughs> like, like, bro, Absolutely where are you playing detective? Not. Without Lynette, this show would be over. Everyone's hard work. We're out here playing waste. detective, bro. You gotta no, find who the op is. No way that this is someone from the troop. Yeah, maybe Jillian could fill in for me for a while. What? No way, out of the question. The protagonist has to be played by Lynette. Jillian Kent. She's just not what the What's wrong with Jillian, though? What's wrong with her? I had to suddenly change. It became a bit strange. Okay. Ah, huh? I've got it. It's a competitor. Yes, this letter must be from a competitor. <laughs> Are you who's trying to get under Lynette's skin. You can't lie low. That's just what they want you to do. The moment you step back from performing, they'll put their rumor mill into overdrive and drag us through the mud. They're just waiting for their chance to kick us while we're down. Honestly, this point I can't tell if this guy's going to run off. Maybe he is. Really? Definitely. Those lowlifes. Slander and You sound very familiar with their methods. They drown out the truth with a flood of misinformation. And they stop at nothing once they get right. Yeah, he knows too much, man. He knows too much. Oh, there's so many of them out there. Fame is wrong. They're just isn't seems as famous, to man. Haters, no matter what you do to try and keep everyone happy. But don't worry. I will get to the bottom of this. Stay strong, Lynette. And keep up the good work on stage. I have to so projecting so hard from the newspapers now, but rest assured, I'll be discussing countermeasures with them. Okay. So, a competitor, huh? Mm, I kind of doubt it. We've dealt with those types before. Usually, their goal is to steal our venue for their own show. The last bro, your barber wants a word. Scandal by planting a story to divert public attention, but at the moment. I don't think anyone's got a reason to do any of that stuff. Let alone pull a stunt like this. A threat letter is quite extreme. Besides, when I felt that evil stare, I'm pretty sure it was coming somewhere from backstage. somewhere backstage. So that rules out a lot of people. I'm actually more concerned about Mary you. When I mentioned Jillian, his reaction was pretty unusual. Especially since Maloney mentioned that the initial plan was to cast Jillian as the lead. Interesting. It sounds like there was an original protagonist. Yeah, where is the well an original script. Where is it? Hmm. I should probably go talk to her. Yep. She told me she lives in the flow of Sandra. Yeah. So maybe Jillian is pissed? Is she the first subs uh, suspect? She, she was a part of the original scripts. So maybe she's the first suspect. It's Jillian, man. It's always the Jills. It's always the Jillians, man. It's Jillian, bro. He's a W. Where, where's the ant, then? Where's the ant, man? He's a W. 
Where the hell's Linnea at? It's Jillian, Orc. It's Jillian. It's her. Tisha's pissed. It's her, bro. It's her, Orc. On God, it's her. Watch this, man. Watch this. Protect this place, bro. This is the first case. This is the first case of Orc. It's her. Let's call her a bootlicker. Bootlicking morons. Oh, yeah, she's dissing. It's her. Number one, she's way too aggressive. She's way too aggressive. I don't know. That's number one. I've never met this kid number before. two, Gina, as we were saying earlier, she was a part of the original oh, no. script. The, the, and she didn't make the cut. Lynette took it, so no, she's the first suspect for it. It's her, bro. How many Come times on, do I have to tell you? That had nothing to do with Lynette. If you don't leave right now, oh, this isn't the right girl. Oh, it's someone else. Here's Jillian. One of my shows ever again. Jillian? Hey, I thought this was her. I... Gina? Who tells you Gina? <laughs> Just because Lady Ferrari having the right girl, bro. Of you, it okay, we 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 may be cooked, boys. We may be cooked, boys. We yo 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 yo. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm tweaking. <laughs> we got the wrong guy. That's why I never let. We got the wrong guy, bro. Yeah, we're cooked. Okay, yeah, maybe we should not be a detective. We're gonna get somebody locked up. That's innocent. We're gonna get somebody locked up. That's innocent, bro. Okay, maybe we should not become a detective. Because we're actually about to ruin somebody's life. Get to me. Permanently. Well, this Permanently, bro. Different in this case, but you got the wrong girl. Thank you. You know what? Uh, so, what brings you to the flu of Sandra? You know way, bro. We heard about it from Maloney. He said you were originally supposed to play the lead. He's a random ass G in there. Maloney, huh? Bro, I thought it was her, man. Of course he couldn't keep his So why the hell are we talking to some random ass girl? It's not even the right girl, bro. I'm sorry. Bro. I never mentioned it because Director Mary, you was very clear that I mustn't let any of it affect you. Okay. What's this? Okay, maybe it's not Jillian, actually. <laughs> okay, we're showing her the, the envelope. Appear surprised. She knows she knows something. I, I don't know. Uh, That's Cap. Don't lie to me. Do something like this. Stop the Cap. Don't be scared, Jillian. Just tell us what you know. Who's doing okay. this? I'll try. It's true. I was originally <laughs> Look, the lead in the Hobbit. I've worked with director Mary many <laughs> times before, but only in minor roles. The audiences and critics never had much to say about me. Okay, so she's mid. Nothing amazing she's the mid. She's mid. A few months ago, Mary Yu started working on a new show, so I plucked up the courage to ask him if I could take the leading role. He was hesitant, but he agreed okay. to let me try for the part. We did a few rehearsals, everything seemed to be going okay. But then... Oh my god, the flesh man. It's been a change of plan, Jillian. The what a change of plan. will now be played by Lynette. Okay. Lynette? But she always turns these things down, doesn't she? And that's why we cannot afford to waste this opportunity. Chilean, okay. I understand how you must be feeling. But Maloney and myself have to do what's best for the production as a whole. Next there's time, a sellout. The lead will be. It's best next time. There's going to be a next time. I was incredibly disappointed at first. But I also know full well that I don't have Lynette's. This actually has been attempted murder. Without Lynette, how could we ever convince people to pay money to go and see a masked mind show? And if the show was a flop with me in the leading role, how would I answer to the director and the rest of the cast? Then, okay. I got to meet you on stage and found that you're really down to earth in a way that not many celebrities are. You were kind to everyone and your performance wasn't bad. Whatever disappointment I had left at that point, I certainly wasn't about to take it out on you. By okay, she seems gentleman, boys. You mean it wasn't great either. I think she's good. So, I'm guessing Mariu changed the script to simplify the protagonist. I think she's good. I think she's good. Make her a dumbed-down version of the mechanical puppet that I could actually play. He did make some changes to the script. Yes, Jaik, one of the other actors. He likes to collect Dr. Mariu's She's innocent. She's innocent, Nelly. She's innocent. One day. He also lives nearby. I can arrange for you to meet him at the tavern. Makes sense. I always see him talking to Don't worry about the sea Let me cook, man. Let me cook. All right. See you at the tavern then. She's innocent. Oh god, she's innocent. It's not Jillian, boys. It's not Jillian. She's innocent, boys. She's innocent. He's 100% innocent. Broke. I'm not climbing everything in the game. 
Let's walk up, bro. Sorry to keep you waiting. Jillian brought me up to speed on the situation. I'm here to help, however. Who tells I can. this? Here. This Who's this? Script you're after. Docs? That's always the way with pen and paper drafts. Even the final script is full of last-minute changes by the director. There should be a cleaner copy of the original script in here somewhere. Ugh, sorry, it's all a bit mixed up. I just grabbed the whole stack of paper since I was in a rush. No problem. Now activating search mode. I'll go through one page at a time. Okay. I gotta actually look at these. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Be added to your randomly draw. There's no way there's more RNG in. Oh, hell no. We're cooked. We're cooked. We're actually cooked. Why is there RNG in this? Why is there RNG, man? Chill. Chill. Come on. Come on. You've got to be kidding me by one. Screw off. Oh, but we're good. We're chilling. Yeah, we're, we're, we're vibing. Well, what happened to Jillian, the culprit? No, 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 Jillian's not the culprit, man. Chill, 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 chill. Come on, Jillian, man. I'm about to tell you who it is in a second. Don't worry, bro. I got you in a second, man. It's not Jillian, though. I'm God, it's not Jillian. It's not her, bro. All right, watch this. Right here? This Boom. This is for you, Orki. Watch this. Mmm. Easy. You see that? Easy, man. Easy peasy. All right, where's the last one at? It's the last one. We got two more. Bruh. Right here? Boom. We got by one. Wait until the end, you'll understand. I gotta figure it out, man. I know exactly who the culprit is. You're about to see, man. You're about to see. Shall I go the second? Watch this. Mmm. What the hell? Oh, I thought it was like 11 per second. It looked kind of weird. It looked kind of weird for a second. Are we good? The protagonist returns to the ruins where she began and performs a dance in honor. Well, hopefully, I don't have to like fail or like succeed in one of these. She until her like, joints are stiff and mechanical parts are falling from her body. Hmm. Yep. That's not something a novice could hope to pull off after just a few months of rehearsals. Okay. <sighs> Frankly, I think that the original script is much better. And the original lead is the best. Isn't that gonna back out? Jillian, shall I go tell Mary to put you back in the leading role? She's gonna say no. Uh -huh. What? Are you serious? But the next show is at the Opera Epicles. It's such a huge opportunity. But not such a rare one for me, though, right? That's different. This isn't you as part Bro, of the team player, bro. It's a chance to star as the main character in a show. We're seeing me a cannon. Uh, the term we're the in our eyes. Um, fame I got you, Ricky. Watch this, man. Watch this. Let me cook. Purse. Watch this, man. Watch this. Too I got much, you, man. I'll get overloaded. But if you play the lead, the fame will be yours, and I get to be free. Sounds like a win-win, don't you think? Okay. It'll never work. There's no way Director Mary or Maloney would ever agree to it. The set for Act 4 would need to change, as would all the marketing materials. And that would mean asking Maloney for a lot more Mora. Changing actors... Don't worry, I got like 87 mil. I got you. Risky. I'll give you a mil more, bro. If anything went wrong, it could bankrupt the whole troupe. Plus, Maloney's friends have already published a ton of articles saying how this is the role that Lynette was born to play. No one else can play the protagonist now. If Lynette quit the show and I took her place, if Lynette left, they'd sooner stop the whole show than let me take her place. Stop the whole show? But all the people in the troupe, months and months of everyone's hard work would all be for nothing. I mean, if Lynette doesn't want to do it, she doesn't want to do it. So at the end of the day, okay, I didn't stop with these cards. I'm about to sell. It's over. I'm about to sell. I sold. Never mind, we didn't sell. We're Gucci. Bro, it's like the only thing MC has said this entire time. It's like, like, bro, I've been doing this for like an hour. What? That's the, bro, the MC's AFK. She's AFK. She's literally that's AFK. Plan. There's no way that, that's the, bro. You know, 
It's a little crazy, but it might actually work. N no way. It's not worth taking such a huge risk just for a chance to be in the spotlight. Jillian, you said before, whatever disappointment I had left, I wasn't about to take out on you. In other words, that disappointment is still there, but you've kept it bottled up inside. Be honest. You still hope to play the leading role, don't yeah, you? Yeah, she, she wouldn't want to play the lead role. But the thought of putting so many people out just for my sake? You think they'd be put out? Hmm. That's not how I see it. Jillian, you were more dedicated than anyone during the rehearsals for the original script. We all saw how hard you worked for this role. And I think you know that unless we decide to make a stand here, the path we're on is only going to take us further and further from our dreams. All so of AFK, us. because she so has take the space on. You no, she's she AFK on, on, on her own, man. So. Not one bit. I am playing this MC. <laughs> Because if, if, I, if I was playing the MC, it'd be a different story, man. I'd be getting active right now. I'd be getting, bro, I'd be getting hella active. But both of you guys to step aside, man. I you'd come around. All right, I'll let the getting hella active. It'd be on the scene. This, this MC is sitting here AFK. This solves everything. MC is fully AFK. But what about the threat letter? Do you have any idea who sent it? What is this MC doing, man? Plan, I'll give up the lead role. So I'm not cheat code anymore, right? But surely you want to know who it's from. If they're out there and no one's keeping an eye on them, what if they come looking for you? Let them come, man. Um, Let them come. I doubt they will. It's supposed to be a threat, but they didn't even Yeah, exactly. Know what Step aside, man. Let me get active. Plus the handwriting is kind of childish. Doesn't look like a professional. Yeah, must kind of childish, but she's decent. Who knows? It's Maybe a kid. It's just a fan of yours having a moment. A fan of me? Maybe there's someone out there who really appreciates your talent, even in the supporting roles. That might be a clue. I think this is a slight clue. I don't know who the culprit is. It has to be a slight clue. It has to be. I just sold. I sold. I sold. I just sold. GG's. I sold. Mm, it's getting late. We should be leaving. Come on. Okay. You seem to hear a sound. Notice the faint sound of sobbing in the corner as you're leaving the tavern. I... I'm such an idiot. This is the culprit. Right here. Sorry for manhandling you. Right, detective. You look like you'd be seconds away from figuring saying. out who sent the letter. Why is there RNG so in this? Bro. Fast. What's up, it Jasper? It Gina. Jillian's sister. You see? I was right! You! Just I was right! Bro! No, 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 no! Pause, 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 pause! I was right! Yo, 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 yo! No, 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 no! Bro, I was right, man! I was right, I was right! Even though she wasn't Jillian? I was right! I was right, bro! I'm, bro! I'm so sorry. I'm the best detective. No, I was right, bro! I said it was her! No, 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 no! Go back in the stream, man! I was right, bro. I was right. I was right. I was right. It was Gina, man. I was right, bro. Oh God, I was right. She must have snuck into the drinks reception and overheard our conversation. Yeah, it was for the wrong reason, but still, I, I was right, bro. I was right. I was right, man. I was right initially. I was right. It's her. And she watched as the dream role Jillian had been. I was right, man. I was right, though. I was right. I was right. Away from her by some Nah, but let nah, nah, like. With, without the te technicalities, I, I was right, bro. I was right. As a perfect fit for the role. It was her, man. I knew it, man. Easy. You see this, bro? Yeah. I gotta become a detective, man. I gotta become a detective. <laughs> Yo, bro. Bro, I gotta become a detective, man. Getting angry at angsty teen. I'm, I'm actually about to sign up and become a freaking detective. I'm gonna have to do it, bro. I'm gonna have to do it, man. We're gonna save some lives out here. I'd been treated unfairly. I'm about to do it, bro. An opportunity stolen from me. Come, detective, man. They definitely do something far. But this thing was easy. I was in Jillian's position once. So it's Gina. Back Gina's the one. I were starting out. It's out here. Before we got famous. What is, bro? We just had. Yeah, to see, this one, bro. She was just way too aggressive. Doing our shows. It's like, why was she so aggressive from the get go? She was just pissed. Reputation. So. I so. Can understand Gina's frustration. Still. She could nah, nah, nah. Initially, bro. Initially, I said it was her, bro. I said it was her, man. Chill. I said no, it was her initially. Looks at me is it was for the wrong reasons, yes, but like, come on, man. It's that instinct, man. 
Plus, she didn't even try instinct. to hide how she felt. Whoever was yeah, busy making evil You see, bro? She's too aggressive, man. Blending into the crowd at a drinks reception is She's way too aggressive. But trying to blend in backstage, where everyone's on high alert waiting to be called on stage, would be Where's a lot Gina? more difficult. We'll find out who it is before too long. In two it's days' Gina, time, man. at the next show, I think it will become very clear. On that note, guess I'll see you at the Opera House. Bye for now. Okay. All in a day's work, boys. Where's my pay at? Where's my primo gems at? Where the hell's the freaking Where am I going? That's how I'm changing the time, of course. Two days later. Why am I not surprised I change the time? Why am I not surprised, man? Man, it's the serial killer because they had a speeding charge? They had a speeding charge. So, are we talking IRL? So, somebody actually got arrested and they were a serial killer? Because of a speeding ticket? No, shut up. Imagine, man. Imagine that serial killer, bro. What do you mean you're talking about, man? Hey, bro, this man said talk about me. You think I'm out here, uh, uh, bro, arresting serial killers? Bro, how, bro, how do we go from, like, detective on Ganjin to, like, arresting serial killers? <laughs> like, bro, what is going on here? Bro said me, I, I ain't, bro. I ain't arresting no, no goddamn serial killers. They're about to kill my ass. I ain't arresting no goddamn serial killers. Leave that to the FBI agents, man. And the police. And the army and the Navy SEALs. Not me. Alright, not me, bro. I don't even have a freaking gun, man. I'm Canadian. I don't own a gun, bro. No, I'm not arresting no serial killers, bro. I, I, I don't, bro. I, I, I do not even own a gun, man. So we're cooked. We're actually cooked. Oh, you're here. Lynette and Jillian are busy getting ready, so please come with me. There's an example saying that you got the guilty person for that reason, not for the right reason. Nah, but it worked out though. It worked out in the end. It all works out in the end, man. Act one, the ruins. Is this the play? In the middle. Is that Lynette? She's so pretty. It's starting. But that's the lamp. No shot. No shot. That's the lamp. Stop the cat. Yeah, I didn't read all of this. Wow. I no shot. That's the lamp. But in the end, it was actually very clear. Even though her face He's making was fun of the fed and the arrest of the true culprit, like he's no something completely different. Hey, like I mean, it works out, man. It works out, man. It worked out, man. Easy. Act to the journey. We got an entire lore for this freaking play. You got an entire lore. Dr. Mary, you really is a master of his craft. They went in. And so is the actress in the lead role. I have a friend who saw the show on the opening day. There's like no audience. I thought the critics overstated how good it was, but I gotta say, the protagonist is incredible. Okay. Yeah. Thunderous applause from the crowd. I can't believe it's only been a few days since the last show. Lynette's improved so much. Just wow. Bro, how do people even I see it through these glasses? I never, like, bro. We simply cannot do justice to the sheer excellence we witnessed from Lynette on stage today. The other games won, bro. Because that be hella fun. I ain't gonna lie. It'd be hella fun. I should play one, Loki. I don't know what one I like play though. Like what's on Steam? Trying to get your critique into the thing be like the blast. Over, are you? <laughs> well, you know how it is. The are you change your picture, Nathan? All the readers. Wouldn't you agree, man? Is that or is that, is that somebody else? <laughs> I'm trying to explain. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Your cat got your tongue? Ah, the first said. half was a huge success. But that's you. I could tell the acting was it's top a banger. tier. So comes good. My uh, apologies, Mr. Maloney. Please excuse me for a second. I need to have a little talk with my He's actors. Sure. Oh, uh, got it. Very, very well. Hey, while you're at it, uh, this might be a good time to talk about your collaborations with Lynette. How <laughs> are we not done the first ending yet? God damn. How long's uh, the first ending, bro? Are you sure this is going to work? What if Director Mary pushes back? Screw Mary, screw him. Halfway there, we can't back out now. All we need to do is stick to the plan. What is this plan that you're so intent on hiding from me? Why I'm putting somebody to jail? I'm putting somebody to jail. I thought you were talking to Maloney and the critics. Cora and Tad and Molly have both finished their articles. I went to greet them as a mere formality, but you seem to have availed yourselves of my absence to prevent us from doing this. What have you done? 
Was that really Lynette's name? Ta da! Her son's was behind him beside her the protagonist, but without her costume and mask. Are you? I was the one playing the lead role just now. She, she, she I did put the lead role. There's like no way that's Lynette. Jillian, so that I could be the protagonist. Maybe companion. it was her at the beginning. And I don't stay know. out of the limelight. The Lynette. Why on earth would you do this? He's pissed. You know my acting is amateur. The only reason I'm being seen as a pro, let alone a pioneer, is because you have critics supporting the show. If they'd seen me in the leading role during the first half, they wouldn't be expecting anything more. But what happens now that they've seen Jillian in the role? If you force me to play the lead in the second half, they'll be wondering why is the actress suddenly giving such an underwhelming performance right at the climax? But then it's Big Brand. These are just some of the questions that will be on everyone's minds during the second half. And those questions will follow them out What's the doors of the theater after the show ends. There's only one way for you to save your reputation. And that's to keep Jillian as the lead all the way to the end. Love you, Lynette. Absolutely not. I'd sooner announce that we're having technical we're difficulties and need to stop the show. If I keep Jillian as the lead for the second half, what do you think will happen in the curtain call when she takes her mask <laughs> Sounds off? like a good time. And what will your fans think? They're only here because of you. And what about all the critics who support you? If we get on the wrong side of them, it'll be the death of the whole show. There'd be tickets to refund, fines to pay for breach of contract. The whole troop's hard work would go down the drain. Don't you see how much this would cost us? You can't just take a job on a whim, then abandon your responsibility the moment you don't feel like doing it anymore. You're playing games with other people's hopes and dreams. This guy's going in on her. Director God damn. Mary, please, you're not being fair to Lynette. Actually, Jillian, he's half right. I did kind of take this on a whim. But my responsibility here is making sure you get back the role that belongs to you. Okay. <laughs> And I guess part of that responsibility lies with me, considering I badgered you into accepting the job. <laughs> Sorry I'm a little late to the show. Work's been keeping me pretty busy lately. Linny? Uh, what do you want? Do you think you can snap your fingers and make all my problems magically disappear? That might be a little tricky. But instead, I could make something else magically appear. With the blackmailer's ass. What is this? What's this? But the blackmail him. A draft complaint letter, my contract, your legal fees, reimbursement for the ticket, and an advance on the penalty fee for breach of contract. Mr. Mario, I'm stepping down from the leading role, regardless of whether you choose to cancel the rest of today's show. Damn. If you do suffer unforeseen financial losses from <laughs> this, this you're free to, to seek damages as per the contract. And if you want to file a lawsuit, there's a draft here that you can use if you need it. What? <laughs> I can't believe this. You're literally handing me a lawsuit against you with a straight face. Hey, Noah. All this mora, it's a pittance to you, isn't it? <laughs> Must be nice to have the luxury of prior success and fame. Look at us. We're huge stars. One okay, this yapping now. He's yapping. On stage. The next we feel like backing out of the neither. What is he doing? But that's okay. We're famous. We can afford it. You have no respect for other people's work. You're treating other people's hopes and dreams like a big joke. You don't give a hoot how much this show means to other people. You don't even care that the whole production might have to shut down because of you. That's he's not just true. yapping. I do care. And I'm under no illusion as to how much this show means to you. Oh, brilliant deduction there. Of course it means a lot to me. This is my show. That's the only reason I asked you to be in it in the first Damn. place. Damn. Really? Then why do your eyes tell a different story? The way <laughs> this you make it, is. It's full of contempt. Almost as if I've destroyed your work of art. What? Hi. <laughs> I would never think that. A couple days ago, I asked some associates to do some digging for me. I was interested to know who else you invited to play the lead apart from Lynette. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Turns out that all the other famous actresses you asked either had prior you turned them down or weren't a good fit. Ain't for nowhere. Role. They all turned you down. And I would have turned you down too. 
If not for <laughs> what he wants the paper set of coincidences. Yeah, I'll you turn them down. Send those invitations because you were looking for a better actress than Jillian, but because your investor wanted a big name in your show, right? Director, marry you. To get Maloney on your side, you chose to make Jillian the understudy, and then look for an opportunity for her to take the lead. I bet you were torn at first, weren't you? Do you stick to the tried and tested? You are this friend in the way. Choose Lynette, use her celebrity to get the critics on your side so that you and your investors can line your pockets. Or do you choose Jillian so that you and I'm your long time collaborator can stage the show of your dreams? The original, unedited version of The Lost Puppet. I'm dead. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't betray myself. You mentioned a prior success and fame earlier. You know, you know, but man. You're a well known director you know, you yourself know. with countless works to your name. Wouldn't that make you successful too? Or maybe, deep down, none of your current achievements really count as success to you. Because Jillian's a really good actress. She is the talent. Then right now, you have an opportunity to send Jillian onto that stage and perform the second half Investors. as you always imagined it, faithful to your original script. Your work would be displayed for all of Fontaine to see in its true, perfect form. Did... Did you say... Per or will you act now before Maloney and the critics can protest... <laughs> a magical femboy. dream come true on the stage. And oh dream. my goodness. In fact, the dreams of the whole troop. The whole troop? Director Mariu. Actually, most of the money Lenny brought came from us. We all chipped in. We've worked with you for many years now. Your troupe has been here for you all the way from the empty theaters where we first Welcome performed to the dead. Opera House today. We watched as you slowly started down a path you used to despise. The path of powerful connections, drinks receptions, backdoor deals with critics, and collaborations based on fame instead of talent. But this is just a temporary measure. I, I did it for the good of the truth. Skip. And yeah, this, this has to be the land then, because this is taking this forever. This is how the whole industry works. Everyone else is doing it. Yes, we know. Back when you started, you had to bite the bullet and do these things to keep the troop afloat. But then what happened? You began to embrace these methods more and more, becoming so reliant on them that every show you put out is overhyped by the media, and every script you write is edited to suit or some just the shows are overhyped. needs. Surely you must have noticed what's happening. While we've been performing at bigger and bigger theaters with each show, the applause is getting quieter and quieter each night, and the criticism from people who've seen the show is growing. Maloney's friends are sycophants. They don't care if the audience is disappointed because the show doesn't live up to their glowing reviews. They praise the things they like and skirt around the things they don't. Look, I know everyone's using the same promotional tactics, but does that really make it okay? Well, it's... it's just a stopgap solution. I... As soon as I've made enough Mora, I'll stop. That's just a stop. Different next That's just like a freaking addict. Next time, huh? This is gonna yeah. moral stop, I Next promise. You won't use your Man, it sounds like an addict, bro. Next bruh. time you won't pay off the critics. Next time you'll let Julian play the lead. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. If you make some money once, you'll know. wanna do it again. Then again, slowly but surely, you turn your back on your dreams. I won't turn my back on my dreams any longer, Director Marry You. Never again. Me neither. Bruh. Oh my god, this card stuff. I can't with the cards, bruh. I can't with the cards, man. Am I good? Alright, we're chilling. I had dreams too. Am I gonna lie? We do not care about them dreams. <laughs> Amidst the rubble? Okay, we're not reading all this. I'm assuming if she's the lead actor again. The play here seems a little different from what the review said. The protagonist wanted to return to the stage, so the puppets replaced all her parts with the latest ones available, built her a grand opera house, and summoned a huge audience. And in okay. the end, she forgot herself amidst the applause and cheers of her fellow puppets. 
Hey, no spoilers! Huh? Wait, hang on, that's not even what's happening. The set has changed back to the one from the first act. Okay. Oh, Archons. Please let this work out. No need to be so nervous, Director Maryu. We only told you Lynette would be quitting the show to get you to make a decision. We wanted you to believe that this show would have to end after today, no matter what you decided. But in truth, I believe that if we choose our words carefully, there's no reason we can't get Maloney to come around and keep the show going. You really thought this plan through. But I'm not upset about what you've done. What's worrying me now isn't how Maloney will react or whether the show will get cancelled. It's the audience. Are we grip with the audience? I've always thought the original script is better, but will it move them like I've always hoped? When Jillian does her curtain call, will they applaud her? What if people only came to see the show for Lynette? And because of the reviews, what if they don't really care about the show at all? It feels like I've been hiding inside my safe little castle for too long. And now I'm scared to go outside the walls and hear what people really think. We're right here with you. We'll watch it to the end. Okay. How many acts were in this? Bruh. Do I bag that? I just want some money for him. Oh, the truth. Okay. This ending is much better. I love maybe. how they brought back the set from Act 1 and gave it a whole new meaning. What a fantastic twist. All right. Time for the curtain call. It's the moment of truth. The applause continue after I take off the mask. I could always leave my mask on. You took it off. You never know. I'm gonna never know. I think, I think they could tell who, who like, what Lynette freaking looks like. How would they not know what Lynn look like? Looks, looks like, how, bro? How would they not be able to tell? Pushing the Lance of Fontaine. Hmm. This is what fame looks like when it's truly deserved. <laughs> okay, we're somewhere close to the first ending, surely. Jillian, close. You were amazing. Cyril was tearing up when you did your final solo dance. Ah, uh, well, so are you. Really? I was so nervous. My legs felt like they turned to jelly. What looked like an actor unsteady on her feet was in fact a poignant expression of the protagonist's so frailty in her ending, last man. moments. Or whatever. Hey, Mario! What the heck was that? Why wasn't Lynette playing the lead? He's Our articles are already going to press. You better have a good explanation for this. Um, it was my. Hey, now, it was all of our. Hold on. The decision was mine, and mine alone. They had nothing to do with it. If you have any concerns, gentlemen. Okay. Then He's taking the direct them to me. Will be immense. Marry you. So it was you. Well then, I trust you'll have no objection to me pulling the plug on this production. I, uh... <sighs> Director Maryu, Mr. Maloney, what on earth is going on? Why was Lynette not in the lead role? It took a lot of convincing for me for her to accept the role, and I had to turn down some big work opportunities to come and watch her performance today. You have some explaining to do. Uh, Lenny, it was all his idea. Marry you. Uh, explain yourself. Wait, Lenny, as a matter of fact, this was a piece of performance art. In this play, the masks and costumes serve to obscure the differences between characters, and by extension, the difference between human and machine. We took that idea to the next level with an actor swap, Blurring the lines okay. between one performer and the next. So it's in service of the ambitious artistic goals of the production. Uh, what? It's similar to deceiving the audience in a magic show. We employed this technique as a means of breaking the fourth wall. 
It allows the audience to more intuitively understand the cognitive dissonance felt by the protagonist as a machine trying to reconcile the notion of her humanity. The audience's experience mirrors the protagonist's own confusion and becomes part of the artistic performance itself. <laughs> Hold up! What is this nonsense? Oh, I see. Listen, what is this nonsense? Well, I'm bravo, dead. Director Mary, you. You even had me fooled. That's probably more because you just don't really understand avant garde art very well, Lenny. Maybe so, maybe so. Well, perhaps it went over my head, but I'm sure our experts here saw the whole thing coming a mile away. But Lear sounds uh, good. Uh, um. You must have worked it out by the end of the first half, surely. Mr. Amory, I just heard that you managed to write your review after just the first two acts. Ahem. <clears throat> yes, you're right. Director Mary, you and I are old friends. You should have said something. Then I could have played along even better. <clears throat> yes, well, to deceive the audience, you must first deceive your closest companions. <laughs> I have to give credit to Lynette and her experience in performing magic. That's what inspired me to take my art to the next level. Hmm? You mean your show was partly inspired she by Lynette's background in magic? Well, in that case, I'll have to plug it to everyone I know. <sighs> Unfortunately, Worst I think ending Mr. Is Maloney is going to cancel the hell, show. Man. Cancel the show? Mr. Maloney, is this true? Uh, while I accept that deceiving the audience in the manner you did uh, certainly has artistic merit, this is not a magic show, and we don't want our audience demanding their money back. I'll see you around. A very valid criticism, and one that I humbly accept. If that happens, we're prepared to reimburse and apologize to any audience members who weren't satisfied with the experience. Plus, it looks like Jillian is better than me at delivering the excellence people want to see. I'm sure audiences will be very happy with the show if she's allowed to stay in the leading role. Okay. Maloney, uh, I believe there should still be time to tweak my article. From the look on Lynette's face, I think she's being sincere. Oh, one other thing. We managed to get a meeting with Lady Farina earlier. All thanks to the Traveler's reputation, of course. Anyway, she agreed to write a review focusing on Jillian's performance and the quality of the show as a whole. She promised to give her honest opinion. And I'm sure today's audience will be discussing her performance too. There's sure to be a variety of opinions. Oh, I mean, art at its finest, clearly. Uh... But I'll have to give it some thought before I decide exactly what to write. Oh, of course. Always good to put some thought into these things. Especially now, with a growing range of voices out there. I imagine competition for readers becomes more fierce when everyone's discussing the topic. <sighs> Quarantan, Amory, let's go. Alright. This is a long ass ending, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Thank you both so much. Without the two of you, who knows how much further down that cynical path I would have gone. I always told myself that once I'd made enough Mora, I'd get back to doing what I loved. But somewhere along the way, I started to lose sight of what that was. Just like those critics with their dishonest reviews, I became all about the trappings of success. At the expense of the art itself. You're right. Yes. I'm a very lucky man. Anyway, enough about my problems. What are we going to do about the threat letter that Lynette received? I've been looking into it a lot over the past couple of days, but it doesn't seem like it was one of our competitors after all. Ah, yes, about that. Um, Lynette, do you... Okay, perfect timer. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're... Jillian's sister, right? I'm sorry. Gina insisted on coming to see Lynette. I couldn't stop her. Lynette, I'm sorry! Uh... Yeah, I'm not doing that. that Definitely letter... not in the card thing. I was Definitely not doing it. that. 
What? Sheena? So it was you? Director, it's time for you. Oh, okay. Weird energy here. I think What's we weird came energy at a here? bad time. Lynette, I... Sheena must have been worried sick about me. I'm sure even she wouldn't do something so stupid if she was in her right mind. The other ending? Of so course. I'm sorry. I promise I'll make it up to you somehow. It's actually crazy they put this orange in this the event, man. I don't know why they would do that. And I'm the one who should have to bear the consequences. The orange in the I got event, the wrong bro. end of the stick and completely misjudged Lynette. Well, since I haven't actually suffered any losses, seeking redress could be difficult. Maybe we could just let this one slide. Really? Are you sure? After all, Gina wouldn't be the first person to ever misjudge me. Right? Uh, true. True. In any case, I think we can all agree it was a misunderstanding and nothing more. No need to overcomplicate things. But all right. still, I was wrong to write that letter. I should own up to my actions, make it up to you in some way. Hmm. If that's what you really want, then how about helping out backstage? Uh huh? Backstage? The crew could always use an extra hand. Plus, it'll give your older sister a chance to keep an eye on you. And stop you getting into any more trouble. Thank you, Lynette. Really, thank you so much. Is it the first ending? Are we good? Are we Gucci? <sighs> Ain't nowhere. How is this still going on? <sighs> is it? Oh, I'm so much more at home here in the audience. I get to sit on a comfy seat, and I don't have to activate my energy consuming modes all the time. Mary, you said she's a very promising young actress, and she has natural chemistry with her older sister. In their capable hands, the show doesn't need me to attract an the endless hangout and dead. Phew. Freedom at last. Hmm. Fame is more trouble than it's worth. I'd rather leave that side of things to my brother and the others. I'm happiest when I get to sit in a quiet place, watch them do their thing, and cheer them on. Yep. Exactly like I'm doing now. Okay, we good? <laughs> All right, finally, goodness gracious! I see in the audience where there's someone performing on stage. There'll be others clapping in the audience. If you invitation, what is this? Oh, I see. Okay, so the question is, how do we do the skip thing? We really gotta start from here. How the hell do I skip? I'm assuming I gotta get through the like into the dialogue to skip. I gotta be in the dialogue, right? I got the other parts now. I've got four more endings to get. That one was actually hella long. That was hella long, man. But back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Take it easy. Take it easy. Alright, let me skip, let me skip, let me skip. Press the button that. Okay, easy peasy. All right. The orangey one. Then let's see where fate will lead me. Are we good? Okay, nice. So we're looking for Bonnie's owner. Yeah. There's twenty cards in total, numbered one to twenty. So there's only a one in five chance of drawing less than a five. I should also mention. This time the cutoff was five, but I just set that to wherever I feel like. To put it in perspective, I said I'd only do the show if I drew a one. Well, Fate unfortunately for you, you did the show already. Sometimes. Um, I think I'll go to the Steambird and see about putting an ad in the paper. You want to come along? I think Bonnie wants you to come with. Okay. Alright, where are we going? Did this say detectives? Okay, more detective work? Easy peasy? 
It's been like an hour already. Every stupendous day starts this with a steam bird. Oh, hi, Lynette. Well, this thing only has five innings, not six, so uh, it extended it, I guess. I don't think so. Have you picked up a stray? Go back to Starbury and get some food, bro. If there's no commission to follow up on, could we post a notice about the missing cat instead? Why, of course. What a kind thing to do. Just fill out the form. All right. Well, we've registered you as missing. You can stay at my place until your owner finds What if I don't want to be missing? Also, I just wanted to say thanks for keeping us company for so long. You've been eating well, since the morning. I should probably head back to the drinks reception. Hopefully, most of the people have left by now. You have a salad? If you've got some time, I mean, you gotta eat something, bro. You should stop by my place tomorrow to see Bonnie. There's a nice cup of tea. You probably eat something with substance, but all right. if all you have is a salad, then. then I mean, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing, bro. Oh my God, they're changing the time. BS. Every two seconds, you should change the time. Change the time. And bro. Alright, where we going, where we going, where we going? I believe this cat belongs to me. I already told you, this isn't your cat. Uh, just take a breather, you two. Oh, you're here. As you can probably see, you'll have to take a rain check on that tea I promised you. At least for now. This is my friend's cat. He's preoccupied with some important business. So no, 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 he has to come here for it. He's dead. He'll nah. No, no, it's far more likely this cat to escape from the Humane Society. They're both capping. Hey, yeah, look at him. Yeah, he's sus. He's sus. He ain't even looking at straight in the eyes. How many endings? Uh, There's uh, five. The five endings. We did one already. We got four more endings to get. Oh my god. We failed. Bro, I can't with the RNG. Well, this complicates things. Okay, I'm we're still getting an I ending regardless, so we have to redo that part later. This is my I don't friend's know. cat. It's normal for her not to trust me. Listen, RNG, I'm the man. director of the Humane Society, okay? We've got so many strays, dogs, cats, you name it. I'm not even the one feeding them most of the time. You can hardly expect the cat to recognize me. If you're a cat, you'd be like 100% sure. She just like, oh, yeah, looks somewhat familiar, so I came here. to check just in this case. This is not your cat, buddy. If she turns this is not your cat. Ours, I'll take her back. What's the cat's name? Even if that's not he, the he has yet to say the that, society you know, this, this is so-and-so, my cat. No hey, what's the cat's name? Claimer, that is. Up the camp, get uh, out of here. We're an organization that specializes in rescuing and sheltering stray animals. We've been in business Mr. for several decades downstairs. now. Where can we I'm go Bernard, the where current director. Where you can for like five the seconds and see your cat. Huh. Somebody out here is missing, the their, missing their cat, Bonnie. I remember hearing good things. Near the one in the Cartier Lyonnais? Yes, yes, that's the one. Anyway, um, if it's not too much trouble, could I possibly take cat. a closer so look at the cat? If it turns out I really am mistaken, I suppose that means the cat belongs to this lady here. The she only remaining option is not how that works. It belongs to my friend. Just because two random show up and say it's my cat oh, doesn't mean really? you're the last option. Uh, like, how am I supposed to know it's actually your cat? You know what I mean? Like, like, do you have any pictures of this cat? Like, that's, that's the first question. Show me some pictures of you and this cat in the picture. Oh, you and this nope. exact cat. Looks like and then we'll start mistaken. talking about it. They I'm not dumb. Similar, but there's an ever so slight difference how in this, this one's fur color. Deepest apologies, friends. Well, I suppose this means I still have a missing cat to search feels for. This, uh, apologies again. Oh, this works, man. <laughs> Show me a picture of you and oh, well, you and this exact cat in the picture. Then we'll go from there. You don't have the picture. You get out of here. Earlier, didn't you? Lied? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. A liar always has a tell. The look in their eyes, their breathing pattern, the way they hold themselves. The things that can give you away are often more numerous than you would think. What are you talking about? The way I see it, you're conflating baseless conjecture with fact. 
Normally, like, who even is this bro? Out, their breathing speeds up as they begin to panic. But your breathing pattern hasn't changed one bit. In fact, it's been strangely calm and measured this entire time. I should be able to do this all night. It stands to reason, then, that your agitated behavior earlier was all an act. If you're a bad guy, I'm sure you'll take off running the first chance you get. If you're a good guy, the most likely explanation is that you're a member of the guards or some similar organization. Okay. <laughs> and you're basing this off of intuition, nothing more. <laughs> intuition. Well, I have to hand it to you, Lynette. My list is embassy's kind of drippy. I'm a member of the guards. It's like any other region, they all look the same. I'm currently investigating <laughs> all, all the embassies look the fucking case. same. This can't but be. At least this embassy has some drip. Bonnie, what's her name? Well, her owner is one of the prime suspects of our investigation. Okay. A couple of days ago, our suspect got wind that we were on his tail and fled. That's most likely how he got the separated cat. That's from tough. the cat. We got a criminal on the so loose. I just happened to stumble upon your notice in the Steambird. So, I well, well, not, not yeah, yeah, I was about to say, not now we know, like, what's but going on with this cat. We, we, we got like a convict on the loose. Him. The impact of this case has Homie been left this cat. huge. The Marichose Phantom, the guards, and the Special Patrol have all launched about to say the same thing, like what's going on with this If there this was camp, even the slightest so. chance that he would show himself, I had to follow up on the lead. A new kind of illegal drug, imitation synth. We confiscated all the synth on the market, but a smuggler boys. something that goes away overnight. Even without times, substances on the when? market, people That's are disgusting. still looking for a way to get their next fix. And criminals are all too eager to capitalize on that addiction. You're about to come back. That was it's the too greedy. for imitation synth. Needless to say, a small-scale market opened up very quickly. After the original synth Pretty debacle, we put several measures into place to prevent similar incidents from occurring. The perpetrators got smart, though, and shifted their sales overseas before those measures could kick in. That's when the imitation synth smuggling began. The smugglers, bro. We only recently got word of the presence of imitation synth overseas. We managed to track down evidence of some early transactions. What we were able to find out, however, hasn't proven that useful given the amount of time that has passed. The Marichose Phantom launched an investigation to track down every person in Fontaine capable of producing a drug like that. That's how we learned about Bonnie's owner. Okay. He's a researcher at the Fontaine Research Institute. Pierre? His name is Pierre. Pierre Lafayette, to be exact. Lafayette. She knows who he is. Who the hell's Pierre Lafayette, whoever his freaking last name is? Who the hell's Pierre? The Marchose Phantom found him in Poisson. In addition to the cat, he also had a pendant with him. Okay. At first, there wasn't much cause for suspicion. A search of his house didn't reveal much to go off of either. The Marchose Phantom very nearly left it at that. It was only later that we realized the coat of arms on his pendant belong to none other than the Lafayette family. One of the most infamous aristocratic families in Fontaine. They got Obviously, ties, man. This discovery like prompted voice. a further investigation into Pierre. At that point, however, we discovered that he'd already fled. Now the guards and the special patrol are all searching for him. What's the other guy doing this standing here still with his cat? Like the Indian society, be honest. Family. Where's that guy at? Is he still even here or did he leave? Okay, at this point, yeah, I, exactly. yeah, this is not my can. Many can I, can I go? <laughs> like, like, bro, where, 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 where's the other homeboy? Where, bro, where's that man X? We haven't seen him in like an eon at this point. As you can imagine, there's no shortage of people waiting in the wings to take their revenge. And with the family severely weakened, they were able to do just that. Most of the remaining family members succumb to sickness. Or yeah, hunger. there's no way that guy's still standing here. There's the no shot he's still standing there. Out their days Ain't no way. New identity. Pierre there's is no way that guy's survivors. still standing there. He's been hiding away in the Fontaine Research Institute all these years. His true identity unbeknownst to all. Until yeah, you're, you're kind of sharing too much info, I'm not gonna lie. Well, my fellow guards have told me all about how smart and courageous you both are. And I know you possess a strong sense of justice. Okay, should do research? There could be a chance that Pierre or one of his accomplices might attempt to get close to Bonnie. Now okay, so what if what if one situation? of the accomplices is standing right there? It's the other guy. What if it's him? That? It's probably him. His dumb ass. Bro, it's probably him, bro. I take Bonnie back to the guards with. It's probably. Oh God, is it? No All right, the first suspect, boys. 
It's him. Not even the most it's him. Of criminals would it's him. Something like that. It's him, bro. I'm gone. It's that guy that was standing there. I have to admit, I'm not it's him, man. Too much hope that Pierre will come back for her. But if there's even the slightest chance, it's like <laughs> she, she's been yapping too much to be the suspect at this well, point. It can't be her, bro. I've got some other leads to follow up on. If it's the other guy that's literally standing there unless he left. Right away. Yeah, I think he dipped. He dipped out of there. Yeah, he, he, he's gone. He's gone. He left Fontaine. It's He's gone at this point. Nothing. I'm fine. It's just. I swear to God, it was like uh, at the end. I swear the to head God, of the Lefebvre family. He was the eminent person who kidnapped me all those years ago. Oh, I see. I was at a dinner party. Did that makes sense. Someone tricked me into boarding the Lefebvre family carriage. Whoever it was, you got kidnapped, took bro. me back to their home. But before anything worse could happen, father intervened. Yep. Father was the one who orchestrated the fall of the Lefebvre family. That's what led Lenny and I to join the House of the Hearth. After all these years. I never thought I'd hear the Lefebvre name again. Don't worry about me. I wasn't feeling sorry for myself. I was just thinking about Lenny. He's been acting strange recently. He avoids me for days on end, consumes himself with some secret investigation. So how's Lenny and doing? Then, out of the blue, pushes What's me to do an acting job. Thinking about it now, it's almost like the one I drew from that deck of cards was part of his plan all along. He must have asked. Oh God, for I don't want to see from it. It's the last I want to see right now. From it. I know he's hiding something from me. What does he soon? He's really pulled out all the stops this time. It's very possible. I'm sure he tried to send me away because he was afraid it would bring up some painful memories for me. It wasn't necessary, though. Even after all these years, he's still as overprotective as ever. You'll have to help me teach him a lesson if we run into him along the way. Yeah, I ain't teach him any yep. lessons. I want to you head to that. the Fontaine Research <laughs> you got that. to learn more information about Pierre. Just let me activate search mode and then we'll head out. Who activate knows? search mode? Maybe we'll run into Linny along the way. A little bit of both, perhaps. For the most part, though, I just have the sense that something's not right. Something isn't adding up about Pierre's story. I'm just not sure what. Okay. Okay. I'll write so, on the, where, where's the, where's the, where's the, the other guy that was literally standing done, there? We can head out. I just want to get us like walked away and didn't notice. <laughs> like, bro, there's no way. Because he was just right beside us and he just like left randomly. Homie dipped. It was him, man. It was him, bro. At this point, we're never seeing that guy again. He's gone. He is gone. Plug ending. Right, the first time we saw it. You're uh, not at rehearsal? You can drop the act, brother. In fact, I don't think either of us will have a need for acting anytime soon. You should know better than to try and keep something from me. You've never been able to do that, even when we were kids. <sighs> and that's why I tried to distract you with the masked mime show. Long time in the game. I guess you're just too good. Care to introduce us to your yeah, there's a new long, assistant? There's long hand. I think it was the side you went from correctly. <laughs> this is Officer Shubras. Well, there was like of the basically three hours. It's hella long. Patrol. You may have met her already. Nice to see you. I should clarify something. Mr. Lenny's here at my invitation, not the other way around. To borrow your expression, Miss Lynette, I suppose that would make him my assistant more than anything. We've brought on Mr. Linney as a consultant in the past. He was instrumental in helping us crack a case involving a perpetrator who used magic tricks to commit crimes. I was hoping he'd be able to provide some valuable insight this time around as well. Ah, uh, so you've heard everything then? That's exactly why we're here. There's always been questions surrounding the fall of the Lefebvre family. Some people even believe the House of the Hearth was involved. Whoever was behind it all was extremely cautious. They didn't leave a shred of evidence. This very fact, however, leads me to believe it was indeed the work of that harbinger. Oh, sure, I took harbinger. a look at the entrance and exit records of all the carriages that night. Let's just say it wasn't hard to deduce that there's ill will between you two. Don't worry, 
I don't have any evidence to that effect, and I certainly don't plan on going to back for such a despicable family. Plus, you were victims back then more than anything. I sought Mr. Lenny's help with the smuggling case. Nothing more. The way I look at it, it's a collaboration between us as people, not the organizations we represent. Besides, by working together, we can expose the truth as quickly as possible. You can hardly say that's at odds with the justice my organization strives for. Not at all. I was planning to invite you from the very beginning, Miss Lynette. It's just that my assistant here raised some objections. Uh... Lenny, I'm not the same person I was back then. That little girl who did nothing but cower in the corner in fear, she doesn't need saving anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, Lynette. Is you're it right. Person? I let my Titans concerns get the better. Bad is relative to what, where you stand. Oh, and the next time you yeah, want to distract people me, have the reasons, you should like try a sort of, uh, different approach. Have the reasons? Who's this? You pick up a stray while I was gone? Uh, it's a bit complicated. I'll explain later. Anyway, her name's Bonnie. Well, if there are no objections, then I suppose the only thing left to say is... Lynette? Traveler? Welcome to the team. Okay. It appears the Lafay Ver family was very particular in their use of insignias and emblems. The family would use different emblems to mark differences in status, blood relation, and the like. In fact, the insignia that was discovered on the pendant was used to represent an illegitimate child. It's highly likely. That very status might have been what allowed him to emerge the from the before fall this of his family this is relatively he wanted unscathed. Like it would also explain case, why he was able to assume a new identity as a I researcher with relative case. ease. Makes, makes sense. We discovered something interesting, though. After talking to some of his co-workers, it appears he pretty much works at the Institute in name only. He's practically been cast out. Apparently, Pierre was once addicted like to sex. Sides of like what's going he on tried here, to use the resources the at the Institute to create a substance like, I understand the different effect. endings. He claimed it was just for research purposes, but the Institute revoked his access to the relevant materials regardless. He was placed on disciplinary leave, pending a thorough investigation of his actions. But it seems the Institute ran into some trouble along the way. Could have been a lack of personnel or a timing issue. In any case, they had to table their formal investigation into Pierre. Unfortunately, that also included reporting any relevant information to the higher authorities. As for his family background, it appears none of his co-workers at the Institute were aware of that information. All they could tell us was that he was quite the them? recluse. For two, yeah. Other than the pendant, for two, we didn't reasons. find anything else of note at his residence in Poisson. The bad guys. Based on the samples of imitation synth we've been able to analyze, the good. it appears the substance leaves behind strong traces wherever it's produced or stored. Those traces might not be obvious to the casual observer. But oh, they're not something short. our guard poodles so would I chose miss. both. My first two ends out of five, or the long ones. Came up completely clean. I went to the we long route, so ironically. We didn't find any indicating possible involvement in overseas transactions either. So, the Mara yeah, so some of this is chilling, man. This is vibe. Suspected first. Hmm. Maybe he had a separate. Is there for two? Literally in, in the freaking cathedral. In Monstan, is there one well, literally right there that tells you about the three carpenters in Monstan? You would think with him out in the Isn't that boy Lucius so just chilling in there? Him the Kumis cool in the cathedral the chilling. The said they barely ever saw him in town. If his reclusive nature was just a matter of keeping a low profile, he's into this chilling, I guess bro. it would make sense for him to have a secret base to carry out his business. After he disappeared, the guards conducted a thorough search of Poisson, but they didn't come across any suspicious locations. Poisson. You know Hotel de Boer, where I first found Bonnie? To get there from Poisson, you have to cross a stretch of ocean. It's not somewhere a cat could just wander off on its own. A cat? You mean... Bonnie is Pierre's cat. Oh, that's right! When the Mara Chaussée Phantom first tracked him down, I remember there being something about a cat in their report. So this is her? From what we've learned about Pierre's habits, he doesn't seem Wait, like the type to venture out without a that's actually kind of crazy. So what you're saying, Lynette, is that a cat Bonnie is about to get this guy caught. If that's a cat, true, then exactly. a cat that he ab I mean, he abandoned her, but like, wait, he, he had it coming. He abandoned her, but like, bro, I can't. But she's not trained like one of our guard poodles. 
How is she supposed to understand what we want her to do? Look around through the card one. I'm gonna have to do it, bro. Come on, just roll good, man. Please, bro. Are we good? Or right, we're chilling? We're chilling. Easy. She understood, man. Hmm. Near the coast, the beach, and beneath the cliffs. The place where we're looking child, for talk about is most likely she north of the good person we think she is. We have to wait to learn more well, about her. I've certainly never oh, taken we'll a witness more, statement like, like this before. Tell you that much. <laughs> well, we'll definitely be well, seeing a lot more. Well, if it works out, maybe it's something worth Very getting used soon. to. Cats and humans are actually pretty alike. When it comes to communication, most of what we want to convey can be accomplished through body language alone. But humans tend to rely too much on speech to ever take advantage of that fact. Of course, body language she's a good person, has its standards. She just, she just isn't You're just not going to be able to get across anything too complicated. The important thing is that we now have a lead. Yeah, less than a month, man. Let's try and Until find a place that drops. matches the clues Bonnie gave us. We're actually so close. Less than a month, man. And then she'll finally drop. Oh, it's right on the TP. Goodness gracious. Seems like Bonnie is trying to take us somewhere. Okay. Alright, where we going? Where we going? Where we going? Move it, Bonnie, move it. Don't let me shoot. Move it. Look out. Oh my god, the camera bro, Genja. Or your verse. Time to go. The wind knows me. Gotcha. Unsighting in six. Into the wind. Set clouds high. The birds call. Wind strike. Quietly now. What an 81 kid. What's your mind so broken? Where are you alive? Kazwa. Where my Kazwa burst damage at? For that 181 kid. What's your mind so broken? Wow, Lynette. Man? You found this place so easily. If I thought there was any chance you'd say yes. I'd recruit you into the special patrol here and now. Could, you know, no but she didn't. Asked. Her main goal was actually to take people on Fontaine. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I pretty much receive letters daily yeah, from people killed, trying to poach you know. her from me. Let's just focus on our search. There's a lot to investigate. Alright. Aha! Just as we thought. This is where the imitation synth was being made. Looks like he's got more than just imitation synths stashed around here. In addition to the raw materials needed to synthesize the substance itself, there's a large quantity of cleaning agents and a few drugs I haven't been able to identify. These cleaning agents are likely used to dispel traces of the substance, like its smell. The Special Patrol did some digging into imitation synth. Our records indicate that it's very difficult for ordinary people to detect traces left behind by the stuff. I'm sure that was the case for Pierre as well. It must have taken a considerable amount of time and skill to ensure all those traces get washed away. But what are these other drugs for? Okay. The material these bags are made of, it's quite rare. It's the very same, actually. Romaritime flower fiber. But there's something special about the composition of these bags. I took a closer look, and it appears they're not only waterproof, but also corrosion and leak resistant. Even the strings yeah. look specially designed to keep the bags closed nice and tight. I came across some bags made of the same material just now, but they were much smaller and thinner. From the look of them, they seemed far less durable as well. Very similar, actually. Normally, it would be easy for a guard poodle to sniff out the imitation synth, but if it was sealed away in a bag like that, it might be possible to elude detection some for some time. smugglers. But what could these big bags be for, then? If the goal is to keep the imitation synth hidden and sealed away, these bags seem a bit too conspicuous. Yeah. Where's the last one? When the Mar Chaussee Phantom searched Pierre's house, there was no sign of these barrels, right? Hmm. You're right. 
That doesn't seem like his way of doing things. How did he get them here then? Yeah. Only the lower halves of the barrels appear to have been submerged in water. We're good. Based on the various ingredients we found, this appears to be where Pierre was cooking up his imitation synth. It looks like he used a special cleaning agent to get rid of any residual traces of the substance on his person before he left. That's Bro thinks he's a Walter White. The guard poodles. I heard cooking up the drugs. So then he transferred the imitation synth into small sealed bags and took it somewhere else for the drop-off. No. I don't believe our suspect is the kind of person who'd go around carrying incriminating evidence with him. That would potentially create too many eyewitnesses. The cleaning agent and the sealed bags might get past the guard poodles, but if a member of the public or even a guard on patrol happened to see him during the drop-off, a quick search would reveal everything. That's still a very risky operation. The barrels we found were wet around the base, but the top half was dry. As if they'd been standing upright in the water. Okay. Hmm. If you put a barrel in the water, it will normally float on its side. Unless it's heavily loaded, in which case it'll sink. Yes. With flotation rings around the body of the barrels, they'd stay upright in the water. And then, he could afford to load them more fully. Okay. You think he used floating barrels? Hmm. I suppose if he acted at night, when there are very few other boats around and visibility is low, it's a valid theory. We can't rule it out. But then, wouldn't the barrels be carried off by the waves or the currents? How would the person doing the pickup know where to look? On ship's clothes. Let's wait and see. I don't want her to be evil, but some noble things may have, to, may have a dark Can you come take a dip in this? Yeah, hundred percent. I have a feeling that somewhere down there, we might find some rope. If a rope can be used to keep a pet from running away, then why not a barrel? All right. All right, it's time to take a deep dive. Right here. Boom. This isn't the place. Bruh. The wreckage of a small boat? We're good. This isn't the My place. clues are there. Where's their clue at? Because I did not see it. Where the hell's the other clue? My blind? Doesn't help that it's like, I guess it's behind the rock. Of course it's behind the rock. Oh, we couldn't see it. Time to go we're up good. Alright. As expected, we found a few pieces of rope and some anchoring stones underwater. If you attach them to a floating barrel, it would look like this. Okay. With this anchoring system, it would be possible to use floating barrels for the drop-off. You would just need to drop them in the water at the agreed-upon location. We also came across the wreckage of a small boat. It must have been left out on the water and capsized due to the force of the wind and waves. Its small size, however, would have made it perfect for staying undetected. Let's talk this through. Based on the evidence we've collected, it seems like Pierre would row a small boat out to the agreed-upon transfer point, drop off the barrels, leave, and then row back and retrieve them after the transfer was complete. Okay. It could be that he was trying to avoid meeting up with his associate face-to-face. -face. As one of the sole survivors of the Luffy Ver family, maybe he was just used to that sort of elusive lifestyle. It seems like Pierre deliberately chose the floating barrel method so that the goods could be dropped off and picked up at separate times. That way, the two parties wouldn't have to meet each other. Well, if that's the case, they must not have a very close working relationship. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. Assumptions that's can be detrimental to solving right, a case. People were dying. It's possible they were just bell. trying to keep not a low to be, profile. We don't fully, uh, two boats know sailing the end to the same location at once could be too conspicuous. Well, hopefully we'll know a lot more. The most important thing is that we can now confirm Pierre wasn't actually assuming we should. 
So barrel drop off system is proof enough of that. Let's say for now that he was only in charge of producing the imitation synth. That would mean there has to be at least one other person this involved in the operation. Though. Likely in charge of transporting the goods across the border. We're still with the most. Since Hell we no. determined that the goods were transported by better. boat, maybe we can track down some travel logs or something. Reason why we're getting there. We can certainly check the various ports for that information. There. It's possible, however, that Pierre's associate also used a small boat for the transport and docked along the shore rather than at a large port. If that's the case, it's unlikely there would be any record left behind. Absolutely. Before Pierre disappeared, we made sure to investigate nice all sorts of outward bound vessels. We also had port authorities keep oh, a lookout for mental, anything bro. suspicious. Unfortunately, so we were never able to find out how they managed to get the imitation synth across the border. You're right. Whatever vessel was used for the pickup, the person responsible for smuggling the substance out of Fontaine would have had to use a larger vessel for the actual transport. That's the only way they would be able to smuggle on a large enough scale to make a profit. They I'm must have found a way law. to disguise the imitation synth to clear port inspections. Exactly. We can't let any opportunities slip through the cracks. Although, given the amount of ports that could be involved, we should probably split up. I'll run home and ask some of my brothers and sisters to try the and dig up some information. Line. Let's split I up. should also head back and update my platoon on our progress. I'll grab some reinforcements while I'm at it. Lynette, Traveler? Why don't you head to Lumidus Harbor and see what you can find out? All right. All right. Come on, Bonnie. You too. Are we out? Or where are we going? Where are we headed? Across the map. Hey, man. If you get all the cuter, you're gonna water, man. You're gonna water. So we put the use in that team comp, I'll tell you that much. I couldn't make that jump, really. Bruh. Ain't no way. Ain't oh, no way, Lynette, man. Traveler. And Bonnie, too. What brings you all here? This is the same person! Did something happen? I just realized I didn't like, look at her name. This is the uniform on, bro. Oh. I see. Thank you for everything you're doing for the people of Fontaine. I'm in charge of guarding the port. Okay, so she's freaking legit. You mentioned you were after some travel logs, right? Oh, well, you're the soul of DPS, you. bro. How have we not questioned the other guy that was there claiming he was his cat? Why have we not questioned him this? No, not usually. Like, it's like why? That happened recently. The guy that just that, everything was normal. Erased himself from our freaking memories. Confiscate anything suspicious, and we could call it. A <laughs> like, bro, how did we forget the guy and it was literally standing but there? Things much more complicated now. Like no word has been said about anything about that guy. Undetected. Not even our like who, who even was that guy, bro? Out. Even worse, we still don't know how the perpetrator was able to conceal the goods so well. By suspicious that guy's still a suspect. Do you mean imitation synth? Yep. However, prohibited substances are just one example. Yeah, I'm assuming it's one of the cars, most likely. I don't think we saw that. During the course of our inspection. Or at least we're supposed to. So what happens to the goods you confiscate? Orange with the cards, man. Oh, we keep them in a storage locker. If they turn out to be something particularly dubious, we'll turn them over to the Maison Orderly. If the goods are only slightly suspicious but could otherwise be harmless, like raw materials that could potentially be used to create contraband, we return them to the ship they were confiscated from instead of letting them pass through the port. Sorry okay. for the wait. These are the travel logs for all the recent activity at the port. Oh, you brought Gerard with you. Uh, actually, he followed me here himself. It's like he smells something on me. Like he smells something on you. Wait, what? She's a smuggler? Huh. Like he smells something Gerard on me. Gerard is reacting to you two so strongly. Oh, he's picking up the scent. He's picking we it so up. We were so careful not to touch it, but we still ended up with traces on us. If it leaves a residue so easily, I just don't understand how the culprit was able to disguise the goods at all. Why don't you have a look at the travel logs first? All ships coming in and out of the port are recorded here, except for the ones the port authorities ride to and from work. It's an inside job. There's, there's like so many hints. Wait, it's an, is it an inside job? You mean society? Is that guy? Society. 
It is that good. Oh my god. Your name is all over the Xbox. Bro, 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 I'm about to get pissed. For leaving is always listed as bro, it's literally the guy, the yeah, sus guy that we met from the very the start. These four heads. He said a These lot four of heads, the cat man. and dog breeds unique to Fontaine are These also very heads. popular They're overseas. Canceled. So his organization offers an overseas them? adoption them? program. Get the arc on by a merch from the rear. One slap on the rubber. I should have just stated some of the harbingers are arc on the level. Wait, oh yeah. The harbingers are OP. They are OP, man. Have you figured Harbingers are hella strong. When Bernard I don't even to take a closer look at Bonnie, he was actually checking whether there was any imitation synth in her stomach. No. I don't know how we're just oh, like, bro. The sealed bags we found at the secret base. They were specially made to be corrosion resistant. I don't know how we just like I got walk off the lids of the barrels, and airbags were used to keep them upright in the water. Those drug shuffers found at the secret base. She most likely didn't recognize them because they're not used on human beings. It's an anesthetic used on pets. The perpetrator must have given it to the animals. Damn. Pure. Must have made the animals swallow the sealed bags full of imitation synth at a secret base. Then he stuffed them into floating barrels. Get them and swallow the, the sealed Bernard. bags. What kind of the sealed bags combined with an These are dangerous. Odor would certainly be enough to mask the scent of imitation synth. During our inspections, we would have never thought to inspect the belly. Nah, lock them animals, boys up immediately. Suspicious. Even if we tried, they're making to the animals swallow it, bro. I'm sure, it would be difficult to detect. Exactly. There's a gadget I'm starting my villain I arc. I bet Bernard even illusion. transported animals with synth <laughs> in their stomachs risky. alongside ones without. That way, it would be even harder to say with certainty that something was amiss. Mm, she's probably in the clear. Otherwise, Bernard would have never left without her. I'm guessing he didn't know whether Pierre had already hidden the next batch of imitation synth before he fled. Just imagine. He sees the notice we put in the Steambird, and it turns out that one of the very cats he gave to Pierre for the smuggling operation is out in the open, roaming the streets of Fontaine. If Pierre had already hidden the next batch of imitation synth, then Bonnie would practically be living proof of their crimes. He would have had no choice but to go after her. So, that's why he came to find you and insisted on taking a closer look at the cat. Okay. Uh, wait a second, I'm a little lost here. I get the part about hiding the substance in the pets, but those... Uh, what did you call them again? Floating barrels? Why even put the animals in there in the first place? If you've got something as convenient as a floating level, barrel, why not just stuff it with the imitation synth directly? Yeah, they don't need to hide the stuff. Now that he has the key, he, 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 bro, he has unlocked his, his full potential now. Like, he has limit, bro. Had they not done that, the animals would have likely bitten or chewed. I should this man basically one-shot child or not. That step like now he's, the, he's a different being now. As well as a certain amount of technical expertise. He, he, he's so a completely different being now, I'll tell you that much. Pierre. We've already proven how easy it is to pick up trace amounts of imitation synth. And nobody so trying sure anything against the new Valette, man. All the precautions he could to avoid the same fate. He is OP, man. Okay. Then, let's head to the Humane Society right away and bring that guy to justice. I'll bring a Gardamek to speed up the process. Oh, right where we're going. He means society. But to confront this man. Take it easy. All right, where are you at? Where are you at? Society should be somewhere around here. Bernard is the domain maybe. Well, here okay, the I guess I'm not. From earlier. Wait, you're from the guards? After him, we can't let him get Ain't away. No way. I, I got the E. I'm on him. I'm on him. I'm on him. Why does he run like that? He's a good idea. bro. What does what that run? Up, Bernard. What does that run, bro? Homie's out of mercy. breath. Have mercy. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything I know. The Humane Society has done so much good over the years, and yet you have committed such an atrocious deed in its name. <sighs> Look, I didn't have a choice, okay? 
My father cared about those blasted animals so much, he didn't bother to take care of his human wife and son at all. Damn. Oh, those animals were showered with love. I lived Is worse a than a dog. Okay, okay. No one asked. Tell me. <laughs> no one asked him, Dad. Well, after I took over the Humane Society, it gradually became harder and harder to maintain its operations. Until one day, someone Seems suddenly like passed about me a letter. It. Like, must be too hard it said though. that I could stand to get a large sum of money as long as I them with the next one soon or as good example. It was only <laughs> the pack of Venti. I mean, Venti! I understood it was just was talking really hella trash. But then, Pierre wrote to me. This got completely dominated. We're already partners in crime and that I got to completely dominated by Sonora. I mean, completely. Well, we had no chance. He actually had no chance. You knew it from the very beginning, didn't you? The reason why you had to go through so many steps just to transport some animals. Michelin star I'd suggest that you confess everything right now if you don't want to add anything else to your list of crimes. <laughs> yes, officer. I would order wooden barrels and flotation devices according to his instructions, hey, look, the and then load the sleeping the animals bins. onto a boat. Once I sailed to the location he provided, I would dump everything together into the sea. Oh, rolled. And a few days after that, I'd come by again in my boat and pick up the animals sleeping in the barrels. Once I had received enough of them, I'd bring them to the harbor to be adopted abroad. That guy, Pierre, he was running the entire show. He set up all the meeting times and found all the foreign adopters. Oh, oh and he even supplied all of the goods, too. I just did the transport. He was the one who planned out and executed everything else. Okay. Look, I don't know, okay? I've never ever met him in person. We've only ever Who's Pierre? It's a nerd. And when did he send his final letter to you? J just last night. He said that the Marshalsea Phantom is now after him, so he's planning to go into hiding for some time. He didn't mention where he's thinking about going, though, B but he did tell me to look out for the guards. It's been a few days since Pierre's last appearance. I'd wager that he sent that letter after he found his hiding spot. I, I <laughs> <not>. <laughs> Pussy, I'm dead. It was on his orders. I had to burn every letter after reading them. I, I wasn't even allowed to share them with the rest of the society employees. Sure sounds like you're trying to use the lack of witnesses or evidence to pin the blame on Pierre. No, no I swear, this time I'm only telling you the truth. Well, Is it we can check the truth of your statements at the Opera House. I hope you know what'll be coming for you if I were to find any discrepancy between the evidence and the testimony the pack you just gave. I know, I know, I going swear, to the I was just telling the truth. <sighs> He's going to the Fortress of Mirapede. My thanks to you both. Had it not been for you... I really don't know what would have happened to this case. Bonnie helped, too. <laughs> That's true. It was all thanks to her that Bernard was finally exposed. Okay. <laughs> and it looks like she's grown quite fond of you two as well. <sighs> then I'll leave you be. Just let me know if you find What's any other girl? leads. Or she's still weird. Okay. Grand Turgid him. Hmm. Gotta talk to him in a second here. Huh. But then Turgid is ass. Well, even though it didn't feel like Bernard was lying, after talking to him, I'm getting an even stronger sense that something's we'll not quite this part right. later. We investigated well, so we're quickly that that perhaps first. we've missed a thing or two along the way. Let me activate deduction mode and consider things again from the top to see if we can find anything new. Is there still anything unresolved or strange that we should try to consider? The Marachose Phantom found Bonnie and the Lefevere pendant at Pierre's residence. That was the beginning point of our investigation. Oh god, not this BS, bro. Like, I actually hate this man. Why, bro? I hate doing this, like, generally hate doing this. Oh my god, bro. I can't with this. I actually can't. I 
can't, man. I can't. There's no need to rush. Let's see if we can find any other suspicious points about this case. Yeah, that's something we don't have all the clues at, so Bernard it's like... Claims to have received we make you do it low-key for nothing here. sometimes. It's like, why, bro? In the letter, Pierre stated that he had gone into hiding. Is there something wrong with the letter? Are you looking at me be, be, be making you doing it for like, no reason? You good? If Bonnie had imitation synth in her body, then she was a liability that had to be recovered at all costs. But if she wasn't carrying anything, then it would have made sense to tell Bernard not to worry. And thinking about it, Bernard only attracted our yeah, attention to in the first after place after because he came to look for Bonnie. Could it be that the person who wrote the letter also knew nothing about Bonnie's whereabouts? He's not giving her that or they had a separate goal plan? entirely. Yeah, he's not handing over that gnosis, especially with like all the information no, he knows now. We've discovered that Bernard is responsible giving her that for the trafficking, while Pierre no deals with supplying the goods. Is there something else in the scheme that we're missing? Uh, let me see. Let me connections. There's Bruh. no need to rush. Let's see. Oh my god. Are we good? Now behave. And Can follow you me literally to just skip that part? Oh, I'm assuming I just did, basically. Oh my god, the RNG. The RNG, man. Come on. Are we good? Perfectly. Thank goodness. I can't with the RNG. Uh, is there something else you need from me, Traveler? Huh? I see. It all makes sense now. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look, even our confessed criminal she a part of has it? no idea what you're saying. Because he's been kept in the one. dark all along. And I assume it's the same with Pierre. I'm assuming I don't need to get the right answer, surely. <laughs> That never quite added up for yeah, me. Yeah, I'll talk to Bernardo after this. Why did Pierre feel compelled to return to his home with Bonnie and the Pendant and make them so easy to find for the Marachose Phantom? Both of these things are in stark contrast to his usual meticulous and vigilant behavior. There's only one reasonable explanation. He was following orders. See, we, we, we got, bro, we got, we got the, the Gina first try. And we got him. It was, bro, come on now. Knocking on his door. Bring the cat and the pendant. And These two cats were just light work. Actual sure light work. Unbeknownst to him, it was something harder. The third person who wrote that were light work, man. Had long decided to sacrifice him and Bernard to save themselves. Actual what? light work. You can't be serious. There was a third person involved. If you focus only on Bernard's testimony, it's easy to believe that only Bernard and Pierre were working yeah, these together. Two, these, these two the case mongoloids extremely simple. definitely didn't help. Bernard did the trafficking, Pierre the imitation synth production, drugging, and stuffing. W wait, but that doesn't make any sense. If that's the actual truth, then as soon as Pierre is caught, you explain his side of the story and the third person will... Yep, which is why... The third person made sure that Pierre would never be found again. Once they had yeah. instructed Pierre to expose himself, the third person wrote to Pierre again, suggesting that everything had been taken care of, and he should take Bonnie and safely return to his base. Yeah. Of course, Pierre's disappearance at such a sensitive time immediately made him a prime suspect. Knowing that Bonnie had last been seen with him, all the third person would have to do from that point on would be to lead the Phantom to investigate the Humane Society and get Bernard to confess the truth. Wait, so you're saying that the letter I received yesterday, the one that made me think Pierre was still alive, it was also sent by the third person? Baited. Is... is that what happened? <sighs> I'll get back to headquarters right away and reinvestigate this case from the top. I she's a part said of it. that assumptions can be detrimental to solving a case. Someone among us, however, has been feeding us all kinds of yeah. What if she's a part of it? She probably is. Our first meeting. Us so bad. They suggested that Pierre's disappearance was an attempt to escape the judgment of the law, and that Pierre was a scion of the Lefevre family. 
But if the disappearance is truly just a cover up for a murder, she's a part of it, isn't she? Couldn't the true sign have been an illegitimate daughter rather than an illegitimate son? Huh? <laughs> she's a part of it, bro. Haven't you taken this joke a bit too far? You're right. I did let a lot of assumptions get to my like head. The slight hint to it, it being an inside job. This. It was like, bro, I'll come make on. sure to correct my behavior. You deliberately fed us lies, but even you could like not control hints. every last detail of your plan. There was a flaw in your scheme, and something didn't quite go as planned. Getting the Mar Chose Phantom to notice Pierre was only the first part of your plan. Had they failed to take notice of the Humane Society, they could have cast a wider net. And you couldn't predict what they might possibly find, if given enough time. This, of course, was the main weakness of your plan. As someone accustomed to acting from behind the scenes, you didn't want to take the risk of personally proposing a raid on the Humane Society. So, you thought about pulling a few more strings, so all the suspicion would point towards Bernard and his society. Once the Phantom expanded their search, it would only be a matter of time before they found Pierre's base. If a cat last seen with a suspect turned up dead at the imitation synth base, it wouldn't be long until the Phantom would figure out exactly how she had been mistreated and turn their eyes towards the one organization that has been sending boatloads of animals out of Fontaine. It was probably during your ambush of Pierre. You didn't even Honestly, have one of the worst to ones is probably freaking far with something. That thing was like ass. I guess it's a straight garbage. Hmm. Bro, autoplay, huh? Still. <laughs> like, why am I looking at this guy for 10 seconds? Autoplay, please. Before long, Bonnie had made her way back into the city and even popped up on the Steambird. Like Bernard, you desperately wanted to confirm the contents of her stomach, so you hurried to find us. That was the best part of the thing. Unlike Bernard, however, you were hoping that Pierre did have the time to make her swallow a load of imitation synth. Who knows While investigating point, man? the suspect's cat, we Who unexpectedly knows? discovered that the suspect has been smuggling imitation synth using living animals as intermediaries. That was your plan, in any case. With that, you'd have been able to lead the investigation towards the Humane Society. Bonnie had managed to escape before Pierre was able to stuff her full of imitation synth. That part of your plan could no longer be carried out. But as shrewd as you were, you came up with another plan right that away. Like one of the worst ones. You manipulated that the traveler and I to help you identify bro, Bernard so as a key suspect. Which generally you so bad. You used the Lefebvre name as bait to get us to join your investigation. With two extra bodies around, the special patrol is sure to soon take note of the strange event of Bernard yeah, kind of somehow to having a reason to look for Pierre's cat. There's been no good ones, really? Like, so really, really good ones. Like, no well one. I went to like one of the day that trouble just for the chance that you Double might was just way too good. that would lead you down the wrong path. But I don't of think course, any other hangout's got a part two other than the well, right? Just now at Lumi well, one was actually park, really freaking good. Were you not the person who highlighted the suspicious activities These of the society? Are more and more mediocre. Ugh. You even highlighted the society's activities during your compilation of the logs, so they'd be immediately visible to anyone examining the records. Moreover, oh, the logs contained amazing. no records of the Port Authority's activities. In other words, your activities. When a sir, hang on. trying to suggest sir, that? Hang be based. I am insinuating that you had plenty of opportunities to transfer the raw materials yeah, sir, for sir, imitation sense from the harbor to a boat. Imagine? And then sail over to the meeting place full of floating barrels. It'd be lit. And that's how neither the trafficker nor the manufacturer knew there was a third person who supplied the Who's raw materials and surreptitiously operated between them. Like completing the entire hangout is longer than a freaking story for us. manufactured it's like longer than like using the raw materials. It's like Oracle the quest length. And placed the are way too long. The barrels. Having it's received the green happen, light bro. from you as Pierre, Bernard then retrieved his animals. Like and by no means should a hangout be longer than a story quest. <laughs> This like, we're, we're really did, like, literally in the name Hangout, we're supposed to be just chilling, bro. Can't believe it. This is way I too epic, bro. Two together. It's too long, man. <laughs> You've sure way got too an long. extremely lively imagination. So, what do you think she's going to say next? Ever thought about a career I, I in writing crime novels, yet. huh? 
<laughs> Please, for the love of God, do not it's give that clown hang out. Predict what you'll think or say. Please, like I'm actually begging. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. We can also think of a few places just to look for evidence. Just don't. Just don't. 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 You know very well that this case will not end until the man gets hung out. So, so you trash. will have him commit suicide out of fear and shame to end the investigation. What the hell? Commit suicide? What am I hearing that right way, now? You can also pin the blame for the overseas smuggling activities, the theft of the harbor's confiscated raw materials, and even the left of their name on him. But you still want it to I appear as if he had sent that last letter to Bernard. So you have to make sure he cannot be found the until after Bernard has confessed to the authorities. To do that, you either will hide his body until you found an appropriate time to set up a fake suicide scene, yeah, this or is just you'll dump tries. it someplace where it'll be Way hard to determine the exact time of death. Submerged in water, for instance. The location would ideally allow you to keep the body hidden under. for some time while also letting you keep an eye on it. There are only so many options to hide a person's time of death, after all. As long as the Phantom investigates each of the possibilities in turn, they'll surely find Pierre's remains. Especially since, as the Pierre. suspect Pierre. who will now be taken into RIP. custody, you will no longer have the RIP. time to him or set up a fake suicide scene to cover up the murder. How fake absurd. Suicide scene is crazy. And on what grounds will you order my arrest? Don't think for a second that your spouse of nonsense will amount to any kind of real argument. After all, I'm... Elodie Lefebvre! As the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Bro, Patrol, looks I hereby declare you as a suspect in the case. If you have any objections, you may raise them later during interrogation. That's right. We received a message from Lumidus Harbor that you were going <laughs> to investigate the Humane McKenzie. Society. We didn't expect to run into you at such a critical moment. While at the harbor, we noticed something else extremely interesting. Brought some chocolate, Loki. Apparently. You often use all chocolate, kinds man. of excuses to like swap around the corner, it's almost like Easter. And if one were to match the times of your shifts to the activities of the Humane Society chocolate, and man. those of certain low, low foreign ships, they'd find them to be an exact match. That... That's just a coincidence. Yes, I'm sure you have already thought of a dozen different ways to explain away the suspicious activities. But as far as evidence goes, that should be enough to warrant taking you into custody. Don't worry. If it turns out that the guards are still unable to find any evidence after all this, Lynette and I will do everything in our power to clear your name. <laughs> Although judging by her reaction, I assume no follow-up from us will be needed. <laughs> okay, chocolate from the Easter Bunny. I'll give it all to you. Three men. Some milk chocolate, some white chocolate. Goals. Who would have thought that they would have planted I don't know, someone eating dark within the guards? Their chocolate is just nasty. Judging from the timeline, they likely arranged for you to enter the guards. Their chocolate is just way the too nasty. But not only that, I mean, but you that actively room. participated in the interrogation, arrest, and judgment this of the Lefebvre during their fall. Yeah, my fall. That might sense is resting last year, bro. Suspicion. It came to my head, bro. Cruelly I literally, I literally seen seen them last like year, man. I seen Santa, man. I seen them. Lizard cutting off its own tail in order to live. You've been doing this for years. So, so you played me like a fool after all. God damn. Okay, well, where's the delay there? Cause he, he he got his ass hit like ten seconds like earlier. It took him like ten seconds to react to the hint. <laughs> what was that word you used? Ally. You think that someone as foolish as him is worried? Bro, bro about literally had delay on that hint. Ally. They were worthless. Knocked into the past. I had some delay that big, bro. What was the delay, bro, on that head? They always just saw me as a tool. I lost all my chances of a normal life just because I was born into their life. I don't know how people eat dark chocolate. It doesn't taste good. It doesn't. They stripped me of my name, too. It's too strong. I had to live in constant fear of them while they were alive. And even once they were gone, I had to continue to bury my heritage in my name. Always worrying that their enemies would be knocking in December, at the door. You got, my, got me capo stuff and money? Do you know Santa, man. about what I've been through over all these years? Oh no, Dr. is not growing on me, buddy. That's my I've tried. I don't. Maybe this doesn't taste and good. Do I care. Like milk chocolate? Especially white you? chocolate? <laughs> Bro, white chocolate? Pickings and cream? Come on now, Hershey? Bro, peak. 
God tier. That's enough. Amazing. Delicious. Keep your hands where I can see bon appetit. <laughs> like, bro. White chocolate? Come say, on now. Save it for the interrogation room. Okay, it's a different breed. What a joke. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> no, white chocolate? Hey. How's this? Don't come any closer. Just cotton candy What's chocolate. That? Know what this is? <laughs> you did you still do it? I've secretly you tank it enough? Are you starting to feel like the same the man? Nah, I ain't taking dark Just chocolate. One I ain't step closer and then again, I don't like really eat Whether chocolate that in general anyways, <laughs> to be honest. Unlucky human employees. <laughs> They'll all be blown up Bon appétit, monsieur, voilà. <laughs> Surely, oui, oui, merci beaucoup. Won't let that happen, right? Bonjour. Wait, wait, which one am I pulling? What's going on right now? About to knock your ass out. Boom. Easy over 15. I just got to... Oh, 18. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. I'm about to get skewered. I can understand how you, you say feel. space duck in French? Space like duck. We are also victims space of the duck. Lafayette clan. But if you Wait, how do you say duck in, in French again? Is it like... Gain, what was it? Like canoe or something? Or I think it was something else. To a boiling point. How do you say duck in French again? It's like canoe or something? Canoe? On exacting I don't know for canoe. <laughs> and what of it? Canard. Oh yeah, I was, I was getting there. I was getting there. I was cooking. I was cooking. What? Canard. Space canard. Thanks for your concern, traveler. Canard, bro. But we Easy. Need to end all of the hate and violence arising from this Wait, how do you say space in French, though? How do you say space in French? I'll raise my hands and come over slowly. I promise that I'm completely unarmed. I'm watching you. Don't so un think un for a second you can pull fast one on me. Mhm. Mm That's right. Just keep oh, your eyes on me. Especial. Don't look away. Especial. Ah. So Okay, at least this girl's no delay. She actually got hit on time. The other guy like took like five seconds to get hit. He space, he uh, space canard. Yeah. So I was right I after see, all. I see. It's easier to deal with the person causing the problem than the problem itself. This is. How long is this ending, Looks bro? Looks like it's just a toy. Guess that's probably. There's nobody's ending still going on. No, this is the longest they got in the game. Probably knew that there were no bro. explosives at the society. I've been doing this for like two hours. Well, I'm on the second. I'm working towards the second ending out of five. No, 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 no. I had my doubts that she'd stop, have gone to stop. the society and stop. tried to plant explosives. There's no way I'm still on the second ending. I'll take them back for thorough questioning. Bro, and find someone better to take over the society. It's too long for no reason at this point. I might need a few statements from everybody. Too long, man. Would you be able to come with me? Uh, if statements oh, yeah, are hang on, she'd be an hour and a half, like, tops for all endings, like, story quest, like, length. Even that's kind of pushing it. Need to go back and like, you're going to, like, to Archon crew. quest length. Bro, it's too long, bro. Hang on, bro. With the traveler Come on, man. Before we got too long, bro. Way too long. Ah, so you do remember. Yes, I invited you to come over to our place. Once I'm done talking with the truth, I'll make a nice cup of tea. You're saying it should not be, like, two hours and a half, three hours for the quest. too much, It's too much, man. All right, where am I going? It's gone. Oh, damn! They got their ass. They got packed. <laughs> they are both slumped. Slumber, that brother go. Not like, bro. Both of them boys are slumped. Completely slumped. Wait, who hit the girl? Actually, who knocked her ass? Okay, bro, you're going to jail. <laughs> it's not gonna be me. Who knocked the girl out, bro? That's the real question, actually. <laughs> Cause lock that boy up. Bro, I do not want this. Want some, bro? I want this thing at the end. This is what I want. I want to hang out the end, man. But if you were to try to collect every piece of information you come across, I want to hang out the end, bro. Efficiency would actually decrease. Plus, is that bumper stuck on a truck or something? What the hell? Sounds more fun. Writing a statement no or enjoying a tea party. Great answer. Ain't no way. That'd be my pick too. You seen that in the bumper? Had we not run into that case, we could have spent the entire day like this. Well, to say. But now I'm running low on both time and energy. You're right. I can sense it. I'm really Just surely we're almost at the second ending. Please, bro. I'm back in. Like at mm -hmm. this point, I'm, I'm actually Something back in. Something about her rubbed me the wrong way since Come the on. very beginning. But to be more Alexis precise, God we trust it. it was you know, probably uh, around the time when I saw Bonnie try to get away from her. Elodie tried to get close, the cat. but Bonnie deliberately this dodged basically her. Ours at this point. Maybe Bonnie had tried to evade her before at Pierre's base. Or perhaps Bonnie just instinctively knew that she wasn't a good person. 
Not everyone who likes cats. Yeah, right now on the primos. I actually need them. I, I need the primos, bro. Like you. I got a pull next patch. Probably all right. I need them, man. Humans tend to now. things, but cats rely yeah, on right their now. instincts, and they're pretty sharp. I mean, just look at Bonnie. She took a liking to you the moment you met. There we good. Finally, goddamn. Adventurous investigators and cats. Your story has come to an end for now. Yeah, for now. We got three more endings to do. We got three more to do, buddy. Okay, so we got one one fresh ending right here, and then two, boom, boom. Let's go right here. Boom. Alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Move it. Move it. We out. Is the Bernard one? This is the Bernard one, right? I think. So I talk to you first. I'm talking to my person. And follow me to the interrogation room. Is this the right ending or no? That hurt. Am I good? I have a green check mark. We're cooked. Wait, am I doing the right thing or no? Is this fresh? Oh, you correct? Okay, good. Oh my freaking. Bro. You have to restart right now. They're gonna restart, right? Am I good? I need to lose? Okay, we're good then. Our the bad luck came in, came clutch. It came in clutch. Is not as simple as it appears. So if I won, we're screwed then. Also, okay, we need to lose. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're, we're chilling. Our bad luck actually came in clutch. In case, and it has only gotten worse. Hmm. Wait, that's the first time we, we lost two. God okay. damn! Yo, chill. I've still got nothing, and I'm Bro, we went down. Bro, this is how much lost four hearts. All right. I'll stop thinking about it. I was about to say, like, how are we not losing any hearts in, in this hangout? We just we lost, lost four no immediately. Animals will suffer like those poor animals did. We just lost four immediately, it's man. What I, hope. I was about to say, like, how did we not lose one single heart that lasts like two hours of this weak ass hangout? And we just lost four immediately. And see if there are any animals left that might still need our help. Oh my god. Before my energy for we're, we're screwed. Completely runs out. We're actually screwed. We're gonna win. The game wasn't gonna like. That's it? Yo! That's the fastest ending in the goddamn game! Save the kitty? The truth remains submerged in the dark undercurrents. Yet hope already lies beyond the cage. Oh yeah, give me more like that. Bro. There's no way that end Bro, that ending lasted literally two minutes. Okay, so we got two more. We're speedrunning in it. We're actually speedrunning in it. There's no way that ending lasted legit like a minute. This is actually crazy. Alright, we're cooking now. We've got two more endings and we're done. And we have to do this ever again until the next hangout, at least. Alright, turn us to Lynette hangout. We are done for good. Two more to go. Yeah, that, that was hella quick. I, bro, I don't think there's any other hangout, for, at least from what, what I can remember, ends that quickly. Come on now. The, the end was literally like two minutes tops. Probably a minute. Goodness gracious. Wait, where am I going? They go the wrong way? Okay, now we're chilling. I was like, wait a second, bro. Since when was this a door here? What the hell? Bro, I don't remember ever coming down here, I'm not gonna lie. When was the last time he came down here? Bro. Thank you both so much. Without the two of you, who knows how much further down that cynical path I would have gone. Metal in the hangar? I have no idea. Once I'd made enough money, I came man. back to doing what I loved. But somewhere along the oh, way, oh yeah, to skip this, right? I started. You can skip this. So I'm assuming I gotta win this. Actually, I don't think it's where we can lose. Plus five. And you know, I don't think Zenimi can lose that. So I'm assuming we should be Gucci. Like on the back yeah, one. me neither. Wait. Uh, but. Oh, do you mean when we ran into you at the Fool of Sandra? And you said some mean things to me? As I recall, you were only trying to look out for your sister. It was just a few words spoken in anger. It was you. It was what you Don't said. I've already forgotten. Damn. Whatever it was you said. Lynette the I've Savage. Lynette the Chad. <laughs> Chad Lynette. I see. Chad Lynette. Well, it sounds like Gina knows what she did was wrong. Chad Lynette. Up to your mistakes and committing to do better in the future. I have to get kicked off the bench. I understand that feeling of wanting to stand Chad Lynette, up man, look at her. They're being mistreated. Really, I do. But next time, 
Maybe I'm having these cookies and pulled them, and that's for double crunch. My bench to immediately. Something we can pull off more. I, I have not touched this character for five patches, suspicion. literally. I'm not touched her since 4.0 first half, Lynette. and never used her ever again. Why do I feel like I'm missing? I need to take her off the bench, here? Loki. Hey, here you are. I was wondering where you'd all run off to. Great, everyone's in one place. That makes this so much easier. <laughs> what do you think? It's group photo time. We have to commemorate the debut of the Lost Puppet Director's Edition. Okay, everyone, we all have pretty awkward smiles on our faces in the photo from Hotel de Boer, so this time, no forced smiles allowed. Oh. Okay. Am I really not allowed to force a smile? I'll try, I suppose. I think I can manage. Lynette, Traveler, come on. You two should be right in the middle. Three, two, one. All right, let's one. see the picture. Let's smile. see it. Okay. That's it? You a ruined success? My line of sight was a little bit off. It's fine as long as your smile is genuine. Why are you looking at us like that? The shippers, man. The shippers, bro. The shippers, bro. They're about to go wild. You already know yeah. it. Yeah. They're about to go wild. Alright, the last ending. The last one. Yeah, last, last ending one. after that space can touch some nice grass on the <laughs> One more end them, man. One more end them, man. One more. That is going to be short, too? Take it easy. Yeah, speed running, yeah, it's man. Really For the first two of the cancerous ones. The first two, man. You just have to pick the, the right option to get the ending. Huh. Alright, we're chilling. I didn't like that. Was I Skip using this? It? I don't know why the skip button's not in the... Bruh. Huh? Why does the skip not in the main storyline on the story is, quest? Why is it only hangouts? Since nobody's come looking... I can just oh, yours, by the way. keep hanging out with Bonnie for a bit hey, longer. Bro. Is that really okay? We gotta win this or lose this. We lost. Are we good? My Gucci? Uh, Please tell me the love of I'm Gucci. As much as I don't want to, I really should be getting back. Besides, I don't remember if, if I won or, lo or lost this the last time. Bonnie I don't know. Finds me just I'm hoping we're good. Cat. I feel like I'd have I'm gonna a lot find out soon. To do. Please tell me I'm Gucci, man. Please, bro. Please. All right. Then let's see where fate will lead me. But there's two of them. I think we're. I think we're screwed. I don't know if we're good or not. Please tell me we're good. Man. I don't have to redo this, please, bro. Oh no, I think there's we're screwed. Cards in total, numbered one. Yeah, we're screwed. Oh my. <laughs> Oh god, man. Painful, bro. It's actually painful, bro. I'm gonna have to keep redoing this with stupid cards. Huh. I didn't like that. Oh Was my I god, losing? man. So what do I gotta do? Like lose both? What what do I need to do, man? Alright. Do I need to win or lose? Because we we lost the I first one. I, I lost the first one and then I won the second one, right? So I gotta win the first one, maybe? I need to win. Or oh, we're good, right? We won. Oh, you need to win. So, we're looking for Bonnie's owner? Or it's the same dialogue. There's but... 20 cards in total. Number Bro, 1 to 20. Hello? No, I need to lose, I think. Twice? Bro, I can't with this. Bro. <laughs> this oh my god, easy, I'm trapped, bro. Oh my god, man. This is so cancerous. <laughs> This is, bro. I didn't like that. This is actually so cancerous. So we're looking for Bonnie's owner. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same dialogue regardless. I think the one at the bottom, maybe. Wait, which one am I taking, bro? No, I have to choose the one I was choosing. I'm pretty sure. This is, this is like the top. What's the look? Oh my god, this is, bro. Yeah, this is. This hang out I is so fast, man. bro. Huh. Getting that remember. ending. Why is there RNG for your ending, man? Look, like, bro. Which am I choosing? How do we need? Yeah, it's the one I was choosing. This, this has to be. This what one. You're saying is, Are we good? Since nobody's come looking, I can just keep. Okay, this has to be the right one. For a bit longer? This has to be it. Is that really okay? Yeah, this has to be it. There's no way it's not. Wait, maybe it's not, actually. So I gotta lose, right? I think. Bro. 
Please, man. Let me lose, man. Please, bro. I won. <laughs> Am I good? I, I, we might be good. I don't know if we're good or not. I don't think, I think we're good. Every one. We're good to. We might bump into our Thank owner God. in either the Steenbird offices or the restaurant. So, stick around here in standby mode. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, Any options? We're good. Oh, good idea. Thank God. And he's definitely hungry. Hmm. May as well. We could be here a while. Hmm. When I was trying to find somewhere I could space out earlier. I think it's longer. Uh, I mean, uh, collect my thoughts. It's long I for no reason. The cafe might be Don't a good him, shot. Man. Hmm. All right then. Plan of action: spend the whole day spacing out. Uh, I mean, in standby mode. Okay. <laughs> Easy speed run, standby mode, doing nothing is the happiest thing. Thank God, give me my loot. Give me my primos. For 60 mm. primos is crazy. For All 60, 60 primos 60. is crazy. That's wild, man. Not even it's a single, bro. Not even a single. We're getting one third of a single. That's actually crazy. One third of a single, man. We got 40 rest, bro. We got so much resin back from that. That's actually crazy. That's wild. 40 resin. I actually don't even know I'm kicking this. Me from the shed bus. And hopefully get a three drop or we cry. Yeah, 60 primos, man. 60 primos is crazy. Alright, man, grab them real quick. At least those primos won't give you a Chi Chi. I hope. <laughs> At least they won't give you Chi Chi. I need to my card, actually. <laughs> I've been having this Pyman card on for way too long. It's time to swamp, boys. What do we put on is the question. What do we put on, boys? What's the play here? Put Ganyu's card name put card. You put the Ganyu one on? Is that the play? You put the Ganyu one on, boys? You got a, we got a good amount. We got like what, half of them, I think. <laughs> you can put the Ganyu one. The Ganyu one. You gotta show this. All right, put the Ganyu one on. You're sipping level on Ganyu by putting your name on <laughs> Juicy name card, that name card is gorgeous, man. Name card is one of the best name cards in the game. Gorgeous, bro. Wait, I need to grab my key. Wait, that. There we go. Name card is gorgeous. My will in but. Wait, we got up for English. Back to JP. Get up, guard. That's what I'm saying, man. Let's carry it from the game. Let's carry it through the game. That's your thing in space. Yeah, that's correct. It's busted. It's not facts. Carry it through. It's busted. So glad you pulled her. Got a through drop, thank god. <laughs> can you see? You say can you do a strong box real quick? But you refuse to use her at, at C0 yep. when you're, you, you've been playing on like other people's account. Bro, I've used a C0 for all my. Bro, you know how long I use it for C0 for? I ain't going yeah. back to C0. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels clunky at C0. Trust. I ain't going back. <laughs> it's mostly why I stopped using her. Please give me something. I mean, I, I didn't stop using Ganyu, I just use her in the open world, but not in the Abyss. Okay, could EM Sans in the Abyss? C0 is too slow. Yeah, it's slow. That's why I only use her in, in the open world. Nice percent surrenders. Alright, maybe this EM sense might actually roll pretty good. Let me see. This could be a huge test sense. Let's see, let's see, let's <laughs> see. Crit only 40 CV incoming. 40 CV yeah, incoming. Okay. Custom. Get rid of that piece. Okay. Wait, wait, this is kind of clean. Woo wait, it might roll 40 CV. Come Damn, on. What the hell, bro? Oh. Come on. Don't you dare. Oh. Bro, you've got to be kidding, man. I mean, it's still good. It's still but good. Like, it could have been like 40 to 43, yeah, man. Yeah, from the crit rate. To... Bro, what the? F oh, my God, man. Bro, I'm getting tired of this game, bro. I'm gone and tired of this game. Oh my freaking oh, god, man. 
Do we have any spur pieces on Crimson? Wait, they changed this? Why is it like this? What the hell? Bruh. I need to quit repeat slow key. I need to quit red pieces. My crit, I only have one crit hat. One crit circle it. It's actually tough. And circle it's dog. And that's why you keep running rummy. Because this is way easier to get than crimson. That's the exact reason yeah. why. It's the pain. I mean, just keep crimson. I mean, just keep on Remy. Like you don't, you don't even use her at all. Like you never use Kutao, so who cares? Yeah, it was a spirit piece that I can't really use right now. It's EM is not a Lakuna piece, unfortunately. That kind of sucks, man. Not really usable. Get ready to grab that. Our Home Depot. How much currency do I have? 18k. We'll buy this. Actually, I probably shouldn't buy this. Can maybe cap up on inventory space. Like, we, we got hella rum currency. We're actually chilling. Okay, I need to see how my early Kingdom build is looking like. Let me see what. Actually, I mean, I, I probably shouldn't even look because, like, we're gonna need a new artifact set on her. But, like, I, bro, I need another Power Goblet, man. We get a Power Goblet stab, boys. Like, badly. I mean, yeah. So. We need a Power Goblet. Grab this. We got two. Wait, hold on. I don't roll these ones yet. Okay, that's ass. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Unlock that. Next one. Please roll double crit. You dickhead. Please. Energy recharge. Defense percentage. That's tough. That's tough. Man, these goblets are good, man. I can't even try to use this. Like, like, bro, what even? Look, bro. This is the sad, man. I can't roll the power of goblets, bro. Hey, these two are legit the best ones I have. 28 and 27. Like, this looks like not bad. Like, if it went to 30s on crit damage, it'd be kind of like, kind of cracked. It's like, bro, you just look at this. You look at this one right here, and it's like, what the f? <laughs> like, like, bro, like, what is this man? Oh my god. I mean, just put that power goblet that you have on the uh, on, on Orochino, I guess. Nah, I'm not taking the, 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 the goblet. The idea is definitely not getting touched. My, my, that's my prized possession right here, man. That's the prized possession. <laughs> Look at Koo's defense, bro. Koo, Koo. You, you, you are delayed in the stream, buddy. You are delayed, delayed, man. You are delayed. You are delayed. Refresh the page, man. You're, you're like two minutes delayed in the stream, bro. But yeah, we're, we're not talking. This is the prized possession. The actual prized possession. I, I took the riding goblet for Dia, bro. Actually, just the riding goblet on right now. So, hey, man. The prize possession right here. I have to pull her out. I have to pull her. Bro, I want a C60, yeah, man. We're three away. I need three cons. Stat boards. What do we do? What do we do, man? Yeah. I need yeah, a yeah, yeah, for C6. I don't have the uh, bro. <laughs> I need a D. Let, let, let me see how many pulls we have. So we have about 62k primos. Let me see. So we have 18, 62k. So that's like. Almost 400, let's say 400 roughly, 418. And then I have 452 star gooder. How many can I get? 90? 60, 69 primos. I didn't even mean to buy it. Bro. Bro, I just I haven't opened it since so long. Why is the exchange? Thank God I didn't have to equate it open. Bro. I, bro, why is the exchange? Okay, whatever, man. At, at least we, we actually bought the, the, the right one. Bro, we have sweet. We have what? Four eighteen, roughly, plus the ninety. So we have like five hundred, like ten pulls, give or take, like five hundred pulls ish. Five hundred pulls to get our Lakuna weapon and clipping the weapon. Five hundred pulls with Star Gutter. It's not bad. It's not bad. And the characters, like also the copies of the characters. And I, I don't know about copies. I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to see. I do kind of want to see Star Lakuna. I mean, I mean if you want. Uh, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> blue tigers in the abyss. Oh, blue tiger. Down 412. Oh, blue tiger. I need the monkeys, the man. Oh, I, need the I, have no, I have no, bro. I have no stardust. I'm 411. That's like the, the, pole, the, the, the tigers in a, in a Chingu van. 
Yeah, I know what she's talking about. We were talking about. I, I do I know. Just... Yeah. What, four like in, in the new area. 411? Blue Tigers? You just bring any element that is not Hydro crew. That's all you need to do. Because they have a Hydro res. These aren't tigers. You're talking about these? It's just like the water droplets. Tigers? Yeah. That's how we're talking about this, bro. This is not a tiger, man. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is the blue tiger? Way, way too. That's, That's what we're not talking tiger. about. Yeah, this, this is not a tiger, man. That's why I'm confused. White tiger? It's like a, a water droplet. It's like a water droplet looking thing. But this is definitely not a at tiger. First, oh, you're talking about the green tiger. It's a canano. You're talking, you're talking, you're talking about this. You're talking, you're talking about this right now. These are animal, I think, right? And you have, you have the damage oh, yeah, the power one, and you have the electro, the electro one too, I think. I think there's electro one. I think. can't remember, to be honest. But yeah, I'm assuming we're talking about the, the, the animal ones. The ones, never mind. There's 32.6 damage flower. Wait, there's a W. But I'm just if I have any other artifacts, because, like, bro, I'm just tired of being filled in artifact space. It's, like, really annoying, man. Yeah, you gotta, do the, you gotta do the strong box. At one point. Nah, I have some pieces. I'm gonna level this up. Let's see what it rolls. And there's some of these pieces that I don't really want to fodder. But I might just do it and clear the inventory out. It's not really gonna help at the same time. It's not even really the five stars, the, the four stars. Nothing good to really level. I'm gonna level this. Double crit. Nope. Let me get some artifacts, boys. Let me roll this. I haven't not rolled those. Probably a piece like this for God. I haven't not rolled these pieces. But it's full send it. ER. Like, this is actually kind of decent ish. And keep that. Is. Wait, was it this? This is not even that bad. It's actually pretty good. I, I, I might fodder it low key. Because this this could still be like a 35 with Geo. Bro. Can't with the Geo pieces, man. Yeah. I mean, this Geo God. Bro. This Geo God right, is like the perfect Albedo piece. But who? who I mean, space, you don't even use Albedo, so yeah. Let's see what more, bro. You can fodder it. Yeah, like some beta. That piece is done. That piece is definitely done. Well, you can just get rid of all these one-liners. The one-liner crits. But let's get rid of all of them. What about 4 CV? Because it's Korean, but it's WP. This is WP's Adonis. Let's see if we can capture this roll of 50 CVPs on like anything at this point. Screw it. I'm gonna roll 50 CV. CV. Watch this, boys. Watch this. I'm about to roll one. Let me cook. Let me cook. I'm about to roll one, man. <laughs> and clip the back. This base is at the base. 50 CVPs. Yeah, I'm crit rate. That's crit damage. I probably try and get like five rolls crit damage on that piece. Or I guess four. Okay, it's a great uh, cryo call, but this is not useful for me. That's shouldn't go on you. Let's use a crit damage bow, but like, I can't with my stats. I mean, I need to. Can't. You have 3 plus 30 plus crit damage stuff? Nice. So many EM sands, man. Just so many. How you doing, Orky? We need to check the checker EMs. There's so many EM sands, that, and like, EM is like the hardest main stat to get. Yeah, I got 10,000 of them. I can't get a, get a solid HP from my Farina. I did have the wrong piece. I think I did have... Bruh. Look at this, bruh. All these EM sands. Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> like, bro. Another so one. many of them. Another one. It's 10,000. There we go. There we go. High roll. All right, this is the one. Oh, God, this is the one. All right, watch this, boys. Watch this. Boom. Oh, we just got shafted. Oh, this is disgusting. Let me just see what it rolls. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. It's like 34. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. It's not the best. It's decent. It's not. It, it's decent. It's decent ish. It's usable. We'll hold on to it. It could be a full piece for somebody else. We'll hold on to it. And right, keeping this one liner. Right, keep that EM Sands. That is gone. We're gonna roll another double crit. Disgusting. So many EM Sands. Alright, this could be the one. This could be the one right here. Boom. Oh, that is not the one. <laughs> that, that, that is not the one. That is not the one. <laughs> that is definitely not the one. Yep, it's not the one at all. That is not the one. Goodness gracious. Oh, what the f- Bro. What even is this man? <laughs> defense, of course, is defense, bro. I'm not surprised. That is trash. Get out of here. That's nasty. Get this one out of here. Grid only? Bro, what what is going on? <laughs> this is You're actually lucky. so bad. Your luck yeah, ran bro. out. Bro. <laughs> Your luck you... ran out. This is actually <laughs> so bad. You ran out of luck. This is disgusting. You are a double crib. Oh my goodness. Just waiting to eat. He's hungry. This is actually disgusting. Give me the EM double crit. Come on. Come on. Okay, that is not the piece. Give me another EM double crit. Well, this one right here. Let's get rid of both of those pieces. Rid of them both. This is actually so sad. This is so <laughs> sad, man. Oh god, this is so sad. RNG you roll a like... lot of, uh, of double crit artifacts on, on the three liners. That's crazy. Yeah, I can't get four liners for the life of me. Four liners are non-existent. I'm gonna unlock the other piece. Bruh. This is so sad. Unlock this piece of trash. I think these were like original EM pieces that, that I had that didn't have crit on it. I got the crit ones. That's where these ones are gonna locked. I think the sands are almost done. That for a liner? You know, I'll, I'll yellow it. Screw it. <laughs> Nah. All right. Five rolls for damage. That's unlucky. That is unlucky. But I guarantee you I rolled the, you I rolled that freaking defense <laughs> one. I rolled the defense one and it was all crit on that. Because that's what the, the. Bro, this game, man. This game, bro. I'm going to double crit on this piece. Give me that double crit. Come on. Nope. Where's the other one at? You're a single crit. Bro, I can't roll the second crit stat, man. Why is this so hard? <laughs> I don't know. Bro, look at this map. Bro, I rolled like 20 artifacts in a row. Yeah, I'm just struggling. And out of those tons, like only like two oh. roll double crit. That's actually crazy. For fun, roll that double crit defense, Sans. Well, I will in a second. And it's about <laughs> to roll good. <laughs> it's about to roll good. I mean, I don't think he's gonna be 50 okay. CVs. Yeah, I'm on Wanderers. <laughs> crit only? On the pack. Nah, screw that piece. 
Screw that wanderer's piss. What just hit on? This one. I mean, like, I don't think it, it'll be a, a, a pretty CV regardless since it's it's a three liner artifact. Yeah, I can roll a movie 45. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give me a crit one there. Nope. Oh, it doesn't look that HP sands. It's not even that bad, actually. I'm gonna give it one more chance. Let's tell if a crit, crit roll or bust. Uh, it might be getting jabated. I mean, it still could be over 30 at least. Okay. Give me a crit okay. roll. Okay, that's not bad. General EM would have been 40. That actually sucks. I hate when that happens, man. We'll keep it for now. I mean, EM's like not horrendous. That, that, that it is better than that my Hutao sends. That is crazy. And as he has EM on it, it's not, it's sort of like attack percentage. It's it's not bad, I guess. It's usable. It's over 30. It's not usable. Bad. It could have been so much better, though. It could have been way better. I just want to roll a 50. I want to roll my first 50, bro. I, bro, I would take a 50 CV. Bro, I would, bro. Literally on anything at this point. Just to say you freaking have it. Like, give me a 50 CV piece, bro, please. Come on, crit only. Nope, heal, nah. Heal, freaking nah. Yeah, I think the sands, everything I want to roll is pretty much. Oh, this. Okay. Crit only? That's nasty. That's that's disgusting. <laughs> that's actually disgusting. Can we my goblets? My god, so many attack percent on that EM gob sense. Not goblet, I meant sense. Yeah, the sense. It's actually disgusting. Uh Let me see what else we can level. We have hella HP goblets. Which are actually really, really good. It's kind of funny because like, it, look, looking from like post, I mean even like before in zone, post in zone ish. Like you wouldn't really want to be running around with an HP piece, let's be real here. But now HP's looking not bad. It's actually pretty good. So. HP goblets are hella good now. Plus eight, crit damage or bust. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, let me see. Dendro Goblet, double crit or bust? Nope. I'm not using that. Uh, let me see. I don't really care about Animal Goblet right now, to be honest. Or will this double crit on this? Fish 74, 246. The damage circle in Black Cliff. Nice. Lock this. ER. Actually, let me plus that several quick damage. I'm gonna cope on it. Where's it at? Time to cope. Nope. That's as far as the copium goes. Try this one here, double crit or bust. Use some plus fours, get rid of this. Uh, after this, we, we, we should be good, dude. We should be really good at space. I'm gonna cop on it, crit damage, please. Okay, we're getting baited, I feel like. Keep going. Another crit damage, please. Uh, let me try one more. One more that gets actually bust. The visual crit damage. This is cope though. Okay, thank God. If you got shaftsman plus twenty, that would have actually been painful. Actually, no, it's kind of good actually. No, I mean, I mean, no, I'm gonna love that. Actually, let me, let me just do it now. Let me see. 
I'm curious. I'm curious on the HP Goblet. And a Rose Flat Defense. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? This game, bro. That's gonna be like that a mirror 30. That actually sucks. If it even rolls crit, it would be 30. This game, man. So it's like, what, 34? 33-ish? That's actually so sad, man. That's so sad. It could have been a 40. And it's got shafted. It's still worth keeping, though. Definitely still worth keeping. It could have been a 40. We got scammed. Unlock some of this. I'm the bad because... HP set's actually pretty pretty decent. So that, the thing is, some of these pieces are like for set wise, like the crits that's really matter that much. You know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to go back into these domains to farm these pieces. That's why I have like extra system chance. And those backgrounds farming that separate idea, which I'm don't, it's not even like, really that like, good idea to be honest. It's not even that like, good on her. But off the season. <laughs> don't be shy, Ellie just says like pieces. I think there's a the first sixteen circlet. Don't be shy and level it. <laughs> 50. Come on. That can be 50. I cannot see with the string delay. I might roll up. No, it's not. There, that's, that's all right. I mean, you're an emblem is good. You're an emblem is good. And HP Goblet, I might still keep it though, Loki. Your is good. You can definitely see it coming into blah. You're a subset on the emblem when HP main stat. Freaking burst bot with emblem build. That skills with HP. We'll, we'll just keep it. It's not necessarily bad with the right character. Not necessarily bad. Yeah, I'm not taking the scoble any further. Okay, where's the other one? We got another one double crit for a liner. Did I not have two? I thought I did. My tweaking? Another four liner. I guess I think I'm tweaking. It might be tweaking. Hello. Roll. Crit only. If if it's a 50 More. CV attack goblet, I want this on 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 my right hand. Wait, it's looking good. Wait, this could be a, a cracked riding goblet. Give me one more quick yeah. damage. Please, write an upgrade. Yo, and it's on emblem? Write an upgrade. Yeah. Do not roll fat defense. I swear to God. Do not. Stop. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wait, 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 wait. Write an upgrade. Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. When I tried to get one and never cannot, and wait, I cannot actually, get I one. I don't think if the. the... I don't want to sacrifice the crit though, low key. The 7.4. The, the crit rate. Wait, where the hell is it? I have too many goblets, bro. The crit rate. You have 20 goblets, bro. There's ER on it too. Wait, hold on. Yeah, there's, there's ER also. 4%. That means not that bad. It's not that bad. Actually, roughly, these are like around the same CV. Yeah, they're like. CV, but you have more Honestly, ER. The, the trade-off is the one I have on has more CV-ish. And the other one's ER. I don't really need the ER. I should just keep the one I have on. This is not even a bad goblet. It's not. It's not even bad. It's not bad. It's, it's got, both goblets are kind of cranked. If this one had ER, this one would just be broken. Let's take out the, the defense percent put a yarn there. I would be busted. Yeah, they're both good. But I, th I think we keep the one we have on. I keep the one you have on, 100%. That's not a bad goblet, yeah. though. It's not bad, it's not it's bad, still it's bad. not bad. It's still better than my, my red and goblet, if you check. My red my red and goblet is atrocious. We'll keep it. I have this crit up, I can't even use it. It's not even a bad crit goblet. The crit rate to, then I could 100% use this goblet, but like... I, I just can't use my current Gandhi belt, so it's not possible for me to flex it in. Which sucks. With this defense percentage, of course, 
each pin that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to bless. I want this. And double crit. For the HP piece. Crit. Uh, you got one more chance. This is like slight cope. Yeah, this, this is not worth. Heal freaking no. Heal freaking no. That's percentage. Come okay, on, let me see my circlets. Let me see. I need a crit rate uh, wanderer circle. That's what I need. And a crit rate one. But this roll is for the fun of it. Let me see what it rolls. Actually, I'm gonna roll this one first. Interesting. Okay. HP. Uh, I mean, it still could be pretty good. Wait, hold on. Actually, yeah, that's not worth anymore. Definitely not worth. Bro, like two quick damage on there. Be kind of nice. Tech circuits are not bad, but like, it's obviously still better, right? Yeah, they're pretty niche. Like, maybe the little yeah, it's characters want an attack circlet. Very, very niche. So sad. Quick damage on plus 12 or bust. Okay, we're getting jabated. Even two more crit damage would be kind of nice. Come on. Oh, heal now. Heal now. Well, let me see what else do I have. Crit damage, two crit damage. Another one right here. Level this. Surely one of these like actually turn on good. Surely. Okay, plus 16 or bust. Crit damage. Heal now. Heal freaking now. Great damage one. Okay, let me just get rid of these ones, because I was holding this one to see if I roll double crit on it. Let me just roll this one real quick. Get them out of here. Where's the other one at? Close the circle up. Double crit. Okay, let's see what else do we have. EM circlets. Not really gonna worry about those right now, to be honest. Okay, so this one's the double crit one. Save the best one for last. Mm, the oh, best one for last. Best one for last. Let's get rid of this for now, because we might get Bro, I can't artifacts now. <laughs> Am I watching all you rolling artifacts for like 20 minutes? Oh, that's decent. What the hell? That's yeah, not bad. Crit rate last! Uh, still keep it though. It's not the best. It's okay-ish. It's okay-ish, I guess. Hold on to it. I'll definitely hold on to it. I think this is all this EM circlets. I mean, EM circlet stats don't really matter that much, to be honest. These are like all new light pieces. They really don't matter. Where's the other one that I rolled? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss it. The only piece is that you don't know when you're going to get the yeah, character. HP. Yeah, I still don't even know when I'm going to get him at this point. This one's not even <laughs> that bad. You've got HP on there. If I had ER on there too, it'd be kind of nice, but I don't want to get the ER that much, to be honest. You probably pull him like dur during Natlin for sure. As long as he's not near the Pyro Archon, we'll be fine. Probably not. If he's near the Pyro Archon, we're screwed. Thing. Together, but I think the third time we can't get this man. And knowing Hoyer, we're gonna drop him when the power con drops. I mean, like, we have to skip. Like, well, we'll have to skip 100% if he's gonna the power con. Because, bro, we're not skipping the power con. Come on now. We ain't skipping the power con. Unless, unless he's with the power con, like, on the same place. Of course. Oh, look at those. It depends on Hoyer, 
gonna roll this. This could be good. Please give me four crit damage. I'm begging, man. At, at this point, come on. I've suffered enough. I've suffered long enough, bro. Please. Come on. <laughs> crit damage, please. I'm begging. Oh my god, man. Let me see my other crit rate emblem circlets. This is probably a fodder. Look how many we have. Bro, we have like 10,000 of them. Goodness gracious. 17.9. Funny ER, yeah, this is like my best one. This one's cranked. We've got the ER under the crit, like, bro. And attack percentage. That one's actually cranked. Yeah, mono one. Look at this one's kind of bad. I might be a swap for Shangling Loki. That plus 20 is a plus 16. It's plus 20. Is it plus 20? Is it the one I level? Where's the plus 16 and plus 20? I have too many of them to oh, level. Was it the 16 one? I, I have too many emblems, sir. I can't tell which one. Wait, wait, boys. Was it plus 16 <laughs> or plus 20? Which one is it, bro? There's too many of them. It's like goddamn clones. I can't tell which one's which. There's too many of them, bro. I'm something. This is the one I rolled, right? I think. Or no. Or the plus yeah. 20. I'm assuming it's the plus 16, I think. It's probably a I mean, upgrade, if, okay. I mean, if, if it's the only uh, emblem uh, circlet that is plus 16, that is crit rate, that's probably the one that you leveled up. I'm assuming leveled this, up. this is it, I think. It rolls crit damage into the Shenglang. EM, that's more. Yeah. I don't even know, bro. It's probably not really that worth the swap over. It's got like EM on it, though. Probably not worth it. I'm just taking it off. I don't think it's worth keeping. Especially with the amount of emblem circuits we have. I don't think it's worth it. Let's just attack the Bro, I double crit artifacts and none of them. And I always get defense. Like, this game all is these rigged. two artifacts, the game fucking sucks, man. <laughs> I have double rigged, crit and it all rolled on EM and defense. That's stupid. Maybe let's see one waiting room this fan. That's nice. Fresh. That is a hard pass. That is definitely a hard pass. Yeah, I'm healing bonus attack. Healing bonus. I have to cut down the healing bonus circles. I have too many of them. We don't need any more. It's like the very, very new scenarios you're actually using healing bonus. I just stop saving them. We have two mana. Is this seeing the double crit and the substance go to waste? I'd, I'd, I'd be low-key saving them. And it's like, bro. Okay, I think we went through pretty much everything. Did I go through the flowers? I think that, yeah. Wait, how much backspace do I have now? Let me see. We should be chilling now. Yeah, maybe we got rid of like a thousand of them bad boys. We're chilling, we're chilling. Nice. What the hell is this? What is this gadget? What is this? The Grand Toast looking card box is actually quite simple. The number drawn seems to indicate. The hell? Is this from the Lynette event? A freaking Lynette event? Or Hangout? What the hell is this? Oh, heal and uh. That's the last thing I want to see right Draco. now. <laughs> did, I, did I just get that board? I didn't even realize I, got, I, I just got it. That was. Bro. You probably got it like during the day the hangout and we didn't notice. Oh, freaking no. From the Lynette event? No shot. Spider Lake Light. I have so many recipes. I, I need to, bro. I need to go through all the shops and master recipes again. But at the same time, it's like, bro, because we, we we have like ninety, probably like four percent of the recipes in the entire game mastered. And it's like, bro. That's why I'm like looking like holding off on these. Because if I use them, I'm gonna want to master them immediately. Everything we currently have is fully mastered, so like we're chilling. Minus those recipes, we're chilling. I get from that. Yeah, I'm never using that gadget again. I, I'm never touching that gadget again, man. So, so everything, everything here that should be mastered. Pretty sure everything here should be mastered. Wait, no? I missed one. Yo! 
We got a master real quick. <laughs> I missed one. Boom. I, I don't know how this is not master. Thank God we have the materials. Thank goodness. Which is when is Shanna coming back? When is she coming back? Wait, Taking too long, man. Taking way too long. You're so bad. I've already gone yet, or uh, Ayaka. Shanna is a must. The must, man. Can't be walking around without a Shanna. Oh my god, we're cooked. We're cooked! <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to see where the farm is right now. I ain't going to lie. Wait, how do I have so many? It's, what the? What is going on right now? Because of this dirty ass material. That's the reason why. It's because of this. Bro. I see why now. It's because of that stupid ass. Bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to run around the desk right now. Dude. I'm not going to lie. Why? Is it's using that material, man. Why, man? Why, bro? She won't be, be in 4.6. Yeah, she, she's done the next patch, apparently. You're gonna be waiting a bit. I was thinking she should come back before Natlin. Yeah, so her September. death for another also, which is crazy. Did what you say? Yeah, I saw her dead death for another will be next patch either, which is crazy. Yeah, she, she should be back before Natlin, I'm pretty sure. Surely. Can't I just see. heard that uh, Lenny, Skara, and Baiju are the rerun banners in next patch, which is crazy. Yeah, Arlequino is carrying next patch. Everything else is Why Baiju? Skip. Bro? bro, if they put Baiju with Arlequino, oh my god, bro, bro, bro. If they put, if they put, I swear to god, man, hey, if Baiju is with Wanderers I mean, next No, Wanderers is fine. I, I don't mind getting Wanderers weapon. This is the Baiju. Like, look, Wanderers weapon be kind of a dump right now, so I'll give it to my Wanderer immediately. But I swear to God, if they put Baiju with Arlequina, I'm calling out Hoyvers to a boxing match. <laughs> like, like, bro, I'm calling them out to a boxing match. I swear to God, bro. Don't play with me. Do not put Baiju with Arlequina. I'm fighting somebody. Everybody's getting it. I swear <laughs> to God, man. To or actually, no weapon. I, hey, I mean, bro. I have a Baiju weapon at this point. Do not put Baiju Arlequina. Don't. Because I have PTSD, <laughs> I'm traumatized for life. You already have R2. It's not your fault either. Yeah, like, bro. I think we're good, minus those two recipes. I mean, we're going to find out, like, not next week, but the, the other week. Like, we should find out pretty soon. I thought it was a zero there. I think we're good. So I've seen the, the similar materials for, for the... What, this? And this? Is this dirty ass sim... Bro. Dude, I just weapon, you're quitting the game easy. This Samir, like... Ain't nobody trying to run around right now, man. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> and this said... Like, they literally said suck my dick for them. Per. So you need 60 is bad, but for one. And there's two of them. So I need 90 of these, like, bro, I don't... Oh my god, man, we need 90 of them, I'm into the 81. To match these two, it's the pain in the god they mess. I get freedom sworn on the banners, there'll be a W, because I need them. I need 90 of them, and I guarantee one of these materials, one of these recipes right here, use that material too, like one of these. I don't know which one. There's a very, very high chance it does. It's actually so painful, man. What the pop of fragile, how many do I have, 48? Wait, how many more of the shed materials do I need? I think I should be almost done. Oh yeah, I'm gonna double grid geo goblets. Yeah, what about the geo goblets? I need eight more. I have double crit geo goblets as well. And so far, it's not going... It's not rolling into crits. How many geo goblets do I have? I'm gonna say... How many do we have? Yeah. Tell us geo. Go myself. Right at the bottom where it belongs. <laughs> where is <laughs> geo, man? Yo, what the hell? Wait, this goblet sucks dick. I haven't used my Ningguang in that long. What the hell? Why is it even on her? 
Wait, hold on a second here. Yeah. I haven't touched scripted in so long. I see no, I'm not playing scripted <laughs> in so long. Because this, this, this goblin is a straight ass. That goblin is a straight doggy doo doo. Even this is better, so I'm fully rolled. And this is infinitely better. It's not even fully rolled, bruh! You made a cake today and it turned out weird? You made a cake? What kind? Vanilla or chocolate? Where did it roll? I wasn't picking up. Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell freaking nah. Lock that immediately. <laughs> I have, you have the same nah. pain, though, bro. You have the same pain. Hell freaking nah. Was this the one I got today? I think this was the goblet we got today. I don't know what's cryo, man. Only bro. Just run the fan. Stop. Stop. Okay. That was a low roll, I think. Stop. Oh, hell no. Oh, freaking no. Yeah, and then go on, honestly. You might go back to the goblet you just had on. Or do you still have it on? I just give it this, actually. It's like 19 CV. Dog ass defense. ER. I mean, Ningguang already spammed my burst here, so I'm really not needed, to be honest, but... Let's keep this one on her. Might just keep that on her. Or should I get rid of the slow key? Because the ER is just not needed on Ningguang. Let's just get rid of this. Even this goblet is trash. This goblet is ass, but I gotta keep it. Because this is what, like, almost 30 CV? I gotta keep it. Because we got this one. Our prized possession, which I'd even ask for if this was on Cryo, man, on Emblem set, Ooh, bro. If this was on, bro, if this was on Cryo, I would, I would have ascended. If only that was on Cryo, man. All right, but what is he even doing? Looking at go Geo Goblets. Gonna like, carry it away here. We got this one too. Here roll this. See if it rolls double crit. Goodbye to that. Get rid of all, all of these streamliners. Just get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. I think that's it, really. For the most part. There's some attack goblets, but like, we need to roll them right now, to be honest. Roll that one attack emblem goblet, which is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do some my ride on. Where is it at? Where is it? This one right here, like we rolled that today. That, 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 that's probably the, the W piece we rolled this stream. This one right here. Like yeah. if I had higher rolls. Like if it was like a, a 40 on the crit damage, like high rolls. It would have been like goaded. It would have been cranked. It would have been cranked. But this combo, like I, I gotta keep the crit red, 100%. Nah, I don't really want to drop it like lower than 60% on my right arm. Especially with like one hit burst characters. Like, I know, I know Raiden has chain hits on, 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 on her burst, but, like, the first initial burst, like, I, I want to crit on that, so, like, I can't really afford to drop the crit, to be honest. And the other goblin has ER on it, and I don't need any more ER on my Raiden build. Like, where's it at? Oh, is it? We don't really need that 5.2 ER. Keep this one on her. But I don't think there's anything more we can really do right now, to be honest. We might dip, boys. There's like nothing else for us to do. Like we're completely done with this patch. We finally finished the hangout. Yeah. And I was like stalling a little bit on it because like that, that hangout's dog. <laughs> Let's be real here, boys. That that hangout, that hangout is ass. The hangout is dog. No space. Well, the dip, bro. There's nothing else to do right now. There's nothing else to do, bro. We're gonna get out of here. Yeah. We have fully completed Man, this patch. We, we have fully done everything in this patch. You can't leave father. I say you can't leave father, huh? I'm about to click the <laughs> end stream button. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually about to dip, bro. We'll be back tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna stream on Twitch or not. We'll see what happens. But hang on to the little night one. It, it, it's complete dog. I mean, the first ending was fine. Like, we were trying to figure out like, who, who the freaking culprit was. But like, after the first ending, it's like, uh, it's just hella dry. Hella dry. But yeah, I'm gonna dip, boys. I'm gonna dip. So I'm out. Like the stream, boys. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. I'm out, boys. Love you guys. I'm out. See you guys tomorrow.